All right, we should be good. Hello. Give me just a sec to get the link and tweet that bad boy. Uh, would you be down to add the um, the, the fundraiser? Yep. Thank you. I want it. Once the video manifests, there it is. Okay. Let me just yeah. copy the link, add it oh, to the we're in. We'll playlist. We're in it now, boys. Live streams. Rough nice, blah, blah, blah. Nothing else. Good. The last one was in detailed iTribes for a few hours before I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, join. That ought to do it. Uh, boop. There we go. <laughs> okay. Hey, gang. It's New Year's Eve. Oh. You know what that means. It's time to it's time to finish <laughs> finish some things we started this year. Um, when uh, when we left Link, he was hanging out in Lookout Landing. When I loaded up the game, uh, I decided to take a quick bounce around a couple geoglyphs and see if I could find the Light Dragon, and I found her on my first try. So we've been having a little nice. date night. Um, speaking of which, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah, that'll come in handy later. <laughs> a surprise <laughs> tool. <laughs> um, but yes. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. But today, it is the day of destiny, a day of reckoning. It is the day of the final battle. Uh, also, you guys can hear blue, right? Help. <laughs> I'm stuck in the internet. Okay, good, good, <laughs> good sign. Uh, you know what to do. If you can hear him, Spud's in chat. Great, okay. Well, we'll see when they, when they catch up. Um... Anyway, so I got a couple ideas for how today it can go. There's basically one big thing we have to do, but there's a few things we should do first, and there's a few things we can do a little bit out of order. Which is extremely vague, but just trust me on this one. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, oh yeah, I'm tooling. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I had to put on my, my new fancy hat to avoid freezing to death, because Zelda really likes flying over all environments of the game, rain or shine, uh, with no regard for whether or not I'm about to get struck by lightning or freeze to death, uh, which is fine. God, not a thought in her head. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely, no thoughts ahead empty. Um, yeah. <laughs> so dark. <laughs> so fucking dark. Uh, let's, go look at her, let's go look at her face to really just absorb the no <laughs> thoughts head empty energy. She's so majestic. She's, she's so beautiful and powerful. And then... As soon as we... God, she's long. Come on. Is she longer than the other dragons? No, I think she's about the same size. Uh, okay. I've seen them in the sky at the same time a few times. Like, we'll some, she'll sometimes kind of fly along the same route as Dinrail, but the other oh, way yeah. around. So we'll, we'll see him in the background, and it's just kind of a mutual nodding, like Steve, Frank kind of thing. There she is. No thoughts. Head empty. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, let's go back to oh, look that's out catastrophic. Landing. <laughs> yeah, I just uh uh. Hold on, wait. Hi, dear. One. We're three. in. I've got your uh, headphones right here. Hello, Cyan. Hello. One. We're oh, it's fine. The couch. I'm sure it's fine. All right. Hold on. Speak, spirit. <laughs> Do not torment me so. Oh, cool. I can just. Oh no, I can't eat these. Cool. Are we? Are we in? Uh, one second. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Yay! Hello! Now we're in. Hello! Hi. Oh god! <laughs> the wind took it! No! <laughs> Zelda, why? Uh, <clears throat> as Sorry, I was saying... I'm covered in glitter. <laughs> Good problem to have. Okay. Is it? One more time. <laughs> there we go. Okay, cool. Let's go back to Lookout Landing. Um... Come on, you're just gonna casually put that there. That's fair. It's nail polish. Yeah. Gel top coat cleanser. Just makes a little bit of a clanky clank sound. Yeah, I'm almost done. <laughs> Indigo's not here to uh, light the fire. <laughs> Indigo is probably doing a normal holiday celebration. But what could be more festive than rescuing Zelda? 
New Year's Eve. It's not you don't start celebrating till like eight PM. Yeah, that's the spirit. For the one person in chat who asked, this is not a New Year's Eve endurance stream. We will not be going until midnight. No, we have we have other plans. <laughs> yeah. I mean I certainly wouldn't ask anyone else to go until midnight, but I'm planning on saving Zelda in a nice timely fashion, so you know, whatever. <laughs> I was gonna say red. <laughs> We've kept her waiting for months. <laughs> I've kept her waiting for like over ten thousand years, but after a certain point that's not even my fault. <laughs> <laughs> to be okay. fair. She's the one who decided to turn into a dragon. <laughs> yeah, I had nothing to do with that decision. <laughs> Except in the loose existential sense. Okay. So. Don't break the fourth wall, it's too early for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a uh, classic start doing blank at such and such time and it'll be uh, the thing at midnight. Like uh, for all Latin students, if you want to really start the new year off right you can start reading cicero at about 1 p.m and you'll get to the verb by midnight wow fantastic it's a, it's a latin joke for all you latin kids in chat God <laughs> fucking damn it. i'm sure they'll appreciate it <laughs> so. they're all they're all in that coma with you <laughs> one of my uh one of my best friends from high school she used to say latin's not dead it's just in a coma it's napping <laughs> I'm like, okay. <laughs> Seems kind of dead to me. <laughs> <laughs> that is not dead. Which... Latin's a zombie yeah. language. Yeah. It's dead, but it still just kind of fucks around. <laughs> it's a lich language. It's like fingernails. What? What? They're, you know, they kind of grow, but they're kind of dead. I think... Yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> But <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Why not? I feel like it's just as good of an analogy as <laughs> zombie. I mean, like zombies are known for being dead and then alive. Fingernails are are known for like like lifting up the tabs on coke cans and stuff oh, and being decorated much more than being dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not denying that you have a point. It's just not the first association. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I came out here to have a good time and I'm feeling pretty attacked right now. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. Also, wouldn't like vampires be a more apt description than zombies? For Latin? That's why I went with Lich. You know, powerful yeah. undead sorcerer. Keep soul outside body. Crochet the fingernail language. Thanks, right. Greg the egg. <laughs> Love your username. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back the egg yeah. joke in chat. <laughs> egg, yes, we must have egg. Okay, Nevin says dead languages have no L1 native speakers. Languages that have no speakers at all are extinct. Yeah, so Latin's not extinct, but it is dead. It is dead. That makes sense. What goes on in that head of mine? Mostly elevator music. <laughs> and egg jokes. And egg jokes. In the Vatican, the ATMs uh, have Latin. Do they really? Yeah. What the fuck's going on? Oh, there's bad guys Hi, in here. Hi, Cleo. We've Hello, got a Cleo. Baby. A Cleo cameo. Nope, fuck off. Not Cleo. Sorry. I was avoiding getting <laughs> okay. splatted by a rock. Oh, dear. <laughs> can't hear you it's fine no no no, 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 no. Can, one for the quote books it's a cleo cameo and then red says nope fuck off wow <laughs> i was oh. trying not to get hit in the face wow. with a boulder oh. do we have an osp quote book no it's just the vague like compilations that people make but it's not really a quote book why is everyone so fussy today sense. what's going on what is it, boy? What do you Cleo, see? Cleo uh, has decided she really likes eating the Christmas tree, um, despite us putting oranges under it to stop her from uh, going down there, which sort of works. But the other day she much. was down there just kind of napping, and there's a lot of glitter left from glitter ribbons. Cleo had to take a little face bath. <laughs> <laughs> can't believe Red got cancelled right at the end of 2013. <laughs> Known cat hater, OSP Red. Okay. <laughs> Despite the fact that, unironically, Cleo's favorite person in this world is He's Red. Mad. I'm pretty Good. sure that's why she always shows up. Red is in my, uh, Cleo is in my top three of cats. Oh god, it's so dark Who's down here. Who's beating her? 
<laughs> it could be a communal top three. I'd imagine it's like what? Ziggy and then some other cat? Yeah, that's probably right. There was a really <laughs> cute little decorate? gray kitten I once hung out with. It had little ocelot what? spots. Nice. Oh. Special place in my heart. Uh, why do we decorate with glitter? We did not. Blue's mom <laughs> sent us uh, ribbons with glitter on it. Gorgeous. Yeah. It was, it was the kind of thing where when you just have the boxes sitting there, they're fine. But when you try to take the <laughs> ribbons off, they like... <laughs> They like spring out when you take them off and it just like shoots glitter everywhere it's like a poor man's mark rober glitter bomb um so it was uh it was a lot uh, i vacuumed but there's there's no amount of, of vacuuming that that you can do to get rid of glitter yes glitter becomes an eternal constant of the world once introduced into it a bell that cannot be unrun okay glitter trap yeah basically <laughs> you've, uh, you don't even need like fancy engineering just leave a glitter covered package on the porch yeah. they either take it and it's empty box full of glitter or they don't and it's not an empty box full of glitter <laughs> and then you get to keep your box full of glitter <laughs> <laughs> yeah wet cloth is what we did we, we took I held her blue took a slightly damp cloth to her face Oh, it's so yucky. Everyone's getting really angry about glitter in chat. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> no! Fuck! It's fine. Look decent. What is happening? Okay, cool. We got it. We got it, boys. Oh, God. It's fine. It's fine. The problem is the only snacks down that we have down here right now are chocolate. Which is a good problem to have. <laughs> yet a bad problem to have. <laughs> Whoa. What's happening to this guy? Your head out of the hitbox. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> oh, <Very good>. yes. <laughs> <laughs> the most slow-mo death of a He's weird looking vibing. thing. Okay, what I saw I... someone do a calculation of how fast um, bullet time is in real life. It's basically faster than your eyes can perceive when you speed it up to, like, the lore accurate real time. Yeah, that makes sense. Approaching suavemente, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Suave's approach. Suavemente. Minoru, get over here. I need to retrieve some bits. Yeah. Okay, thanks, Minoru. Carry on. That's all we need you for. She's just a really, really helpful pair of pants, basically. Wait, Minoru, come back. There's more bits now. Thank you. Yeah. Red, okay. multiple people are uh, a, a appreciative of your beautiful Journey to the West art. Oh, thank you. It was I a really had... great episode. Ow! Okay. Who? All right, wise guy. Exactly thirty seconds of it. <laughs> I'll probably watch more of it. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Ah! Okay. Yeah, I, I showed Cyan the um, uh, Bull Demon King section uh, with with uh, amazing Academy Award winning voice acting. <laughs> <laughs> I everyone really liked the Kronk voice. That was very fun. I just gotta fucking knock this shit off. So the first time Blue and I went to Disney together, also the only time Blue and I have gone to Disney <laughs> together. Farce, farce. <laughs> so far. Um, we don't exactly live nearby. No. Um, <laughs> but we went with um, Austin. And, uh, yeah, Austin from Rolling with Difficulty. Yeah, and, and his girlfriend. His girlfriend. And we took Blue on Soren, which if you don't know, is voiced by... Patrick Warburton. <laughs> yeah, like and, the pre-flight safety video is done by Patrick Warburton. <laughs> and Austin and I were like, what if, hear me out, what if we just don't tell him? <laughs> I don't think we actually discussed that, but like, it, it was understood. We were just not going to say anything to Blue. And so we get off, <laughs> we get off the ride and Blue goes, Patrick Warburton! <laughs> yeah, it's like we're in line and it's like... I don't remember what he says, but it's like the start of the thing, like, hello, welcome to Sword. And I'm like, Patrick fucking Warburton out loud when there were children nearby. Oh, man. 
I love accidentally <laughs> swearing in the presence of small children due to enthusiasm. You'd think this I'm wouldn't true. have happened more than once, and yet. Oh, yeah, and, uh, have a nice flight. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up in the weirdest stuff. He does. He's in, like, that college humor sketch about, like, being a basic bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I can't it's, imagine how that conversation really. went. They were like, excuse me, Mr. Warburton, I know you're extremely busy, like, all the time. Do you want to play a doctor in our sketch, uh, our sket about, our no, skit <laughs> slash sketch about being basic? And he's like, yeah, I got a few weekends. It's fine. Let's do it. Put me in a white lab coat and then add no further clarification. How long have you been into this basic ass shit? <laughs> is this the way we came? This might be the, nope, this is different. This is new. <laughs> Fucking glitter in my throat. Excuse me. <laughs> Why am I not? Someone should not make an animatic of blue cussing in front of children. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> uh, ha! How do you like them apples, bitch? Uh, my favorite thing is just like crossovers that make so much sense, but you weren't expecting. Like the beautiful mind one with BDG. Oh, oh, like I love that, that makes so, so much, so much nice. sense. But when that popped up, it was like, what? What's most incredible about that is that it is not only just them together, but it so thoroughly is both of their styles individually and then together at once. It's incredible how well it's put together. I like showed First it it's like kind of like a Tom Cardi style video, and then it's a bit of a BDG style video, and then it's just like, boom, together. I showed it to a friend of mine, and then at the end I was like, Oh, she didn't realize these were two different white boys. Okay. Um, <laughs> which would definitely require some clarification. It's a lot of green screen work to get those two in the same room doing that hand-holding trick in the middle. I mean, legitimately, um, that was her question. And I was like, no, those are two distinct white boys. So that's on my Oops All Odd Songs playlist, uh, yes. along with my other uh, BDG favorite song, uh, Thumbnail. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And Louisa. the pirates who don't do anything okay. from Veggie Tales. Classic. Good taste. It is a four-hour-long playlist. <laughs> There's a lot in there. Oh, this guy thinks this is bad. I did the fucking Lionel Coliseum last round. At least this guy doesn't oh. have armor. Or four friends. And my all-time favorite song, maybe not all-time favorite song, but my current all-time favorite song, All My Exes Moms by Brooke Alex with two X's. That's oh, no. a really funny line. <laughs> Which is just basically her talking to her ex and being like, if you want to know what's going on in my life, just ask your mom. <laughs> she, we're so cool. She still thinks I'm awesome. <laughs> yeah, the, the lyric of the chorus is, all my ex's moms listen to my songs. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get enough, still keep in touch since I've moved on. And I'm like, that's powerful. powerful. Yeah. Truly <laughs> hilarious. We have seen BDG's dances moving. It's it's one of his earliest like little mini video series, but it's it's fun. I also have gotten my siblings quoting the siblings song because I quote it so much. Which apparently blew up on the sibling TikTok dance. too. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Because we are siblings and have the same hair. Hey, what's that? We have an older brother. <laughs> It's just like, and he's here too. I love, oh shit, I don't have a weapon. Hold on. I love the deeply normal, uh, okay, what's it Yeah. <laughs> Two creatives and a lawyer. <laughs> uh, I also love that they put the wig on the dog at the end. Yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, break. remember that time I tried to give an instructional safety video? <laughs> Whew. Okay. It's so easy. Because you're in the right range. I yeah. am in exactly the right. I'm not giving myself the credit for doing the best Patrick Warburton impression that a lot of people do a lot better than me, but I happen to have been born with the right vocal uh, configuration to be able to pull off a passable Patrick Warburton impression. Yeah, don't yeah, sell yourself short. You only make it look easy. <laughs> just about the only uh, voice. What's the... Impression. Oh, impression. God. I'm tired. Oh, there's glitter all over your face. <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, this sweet katana. Why Me, I... there's glitter all over my face. Blue. Wow, there's glitter all over your face. <laughs> Where did all this glitter come from? Uh, this, 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 my this nails. Baby stuff. We don't, we don't 
let's take this one. Okay. Um, what's something good to fuse onto this bad boy? Hello, what's the plan? Profit. Gonna kick Ganondorf's ass. We're gonna kick Ganondorf's ass. Although, we might... Uh, we, we might do a little more prep work before we do the final approach. You know, maybe just a little bit. Just a little bit. Otherwise, it's going to be a very short stream. Yeah, that is kind of the problem. Like, I do want you guys to be able to, like, make it to the end. So my standard seven and a half hour pro strat might not be the move. But, you know, I don't think we should do this bad you boy. Can. Like, hmm? <laughs> You can just keep going until it's you know New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. We will have to leave on global mean time. <laughs> oh yeah, we can do we, we can do like uh, GMT. Yeah, uh, uh, GMT right now. Four twenty p.m. Okay, yeah. that'll be a while. You've got seven hours and forty minutes. Cool. See, in Greece, it's six twenty-one. So that's. Still six hours. To be honest, seven hours uh, and 40 minutes is not unfeasible for the way I've been streaming lately. Yeah, we're aware. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Okay, Mongolia, they just had New Year's. India's 9.51 p.m. Why was that where you checked next? No. Oh. Yeah. Nice okay, the lowest of creatures. Just look up a map of time zones. Time zone. <laughs> you guys having fun? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> good. We're, we're doing great. We're learning. Okay, you only uh, have okay. 40 Thailand. more minutes to get Thailand. All right. Cool. They didn't get Thailand. <laughs> Just stop. <laughs> Existing. Thank you, M. Jeffrey. Speaking. We're glad we, we made it for you in Eastern Australia. <laughs> this yeah. is wild. Bangladesh and, and Kazakhstan Iran. share a time zone that no one else uses. Huh. Question is, for you people who are living in Australia, what are you doing awake? Why are you here? Oh, like, we're God. happy to have you, but are you tired? I just remembered, this is like, hey. like the old school Tumblr joke of like, oh, the Australians are night blogging. And now yeah. we're just back there. We've just reinvented the- there's nothing new under the sun. Oh man, channel recommendation. I've been watching a lot of Strange Eon's Tumblr history videos, and they are so fun. <laughs> oh boy, they're also nightmarish a lot of the time. But it's educational, so that makes it okay, I think. That's fair. Floor is lava! Okay, we're good. The floor is always lava. Oh god, there's another one? Steve. Why are you like this? Thank you, Steve. <laughs> What just happened? Is that someone said Happy New Year's from sea? I don't know if that's Southeast Australia or like literally the ocean. S E A Southeast Asia, I think. Asia, that makes more sense. <laughs> <laughs> to be down. fair, Australia is southeast of Asia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah no, that, that, that's correct. <laughs> no, nope. Minaroot. There we go. Thank you. God, why am I, like, not 100% together today? <laughs> um, Has it been a really long a year or something? That's so weird. <laughs> we did do a lot of cleaning, and then I woke up at 7 a.m. Ah, yeah, that would do it. I've been doing my uh, first ever New Who rewatch from the start, which is interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, you were texting me about this yesterday. Wow, we that have... was going to go all the way we down. Have, we have a lot of them seasons. on DVD. Yeah. We, have, we don't have all of Jody's. Yeah. But I think we have everything prior to some of Jody's. I think we have her first season. It's interesting. Uh, I've, I've been, like, starting from, you know, the beginning. Like, Eccleston. So, not the yeah. beginning, but, like, the ninth doctor. Eccleston. Um, <laughs> and it is very fun. Uh, and it's kind of gratifying to be like, oh, cool. The writing really was this good before. I wasn't just ten when I was watching it. <laughs> um, uh... We were, um, so when I was in oh, high yeah. school, one of my good friends, who I'm still close friends with today, and I watched a lot of Doctor Who, and I just remember one time we were showing it to my sister, and I, I, we decided we would watch some Torchwood to go along with it, Whoa. and then we're like, never mind, never mind, <laughs> yeah, that's... we're not watching this. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, let's go back to David Tennant. Uh -huh. So friendly, <laughs> so fun, so, friendly, so, so family safe. <laughs> Uh, we don't really need to fight all these guys. Later, fuckos! 
Oh. <laughs> cool. That's probably fine. Nice job. <laughs> Let me, uh... Whoa. Ooh. Oh, hello, fellas. Oh, kind sirs. Top of the morning to you. Yeah. Um, just how deep the game takes you in this section. You just keep Stop falling. And then you get to another place, and there's a giant drop, and you go down the giant drop and just keep... <laughs> uh, it's great. Come get me, bro. You guys okay? You seem a little conf- ah! You got me, you sneaky boy. I don't think boy. they know how to use theirs. Thank you also to everybody who's donating to our Doctors That Borders fundraiser. Oh yeah, we should come up with something for if we so hit uh, 1k. Uh, Daikaiju donation, anonymous. Um, uh, Davey, uh, Anonymous again, um... Doctor Who, the real Doctor Without Borders. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Joke. And that's Ooh. as far as, uh, YouTube will let me scroll back up. Thank you to everybody who's donated so far. I think we've been raising for Doctors Without Borders for yep. a hot sec now. Yeah, a couple but, months. Yeah. Or, uh, a month. Yeah, month but they are a really good charity. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what they do, definitely look it up. Yes, we can at some point post a Cleo picture as a goal. Sure. Um, I like it. Let me take one of her sitting in her box right now. I can also get her in her new Christmas bandana. There we go. Oh, that's, hey, a good baby. That, that's a good one. <laughs> it will clean up. But... Ooh. Boop, boop. Is nice. there glitter on my screen? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right, let's let's keep it simple. One K goal. We'll post a Cleo picture. Cool. The closing's so cute. <laughs> That's good. Okay. That's good. So Cleo has this box that we bought for her quite a while back, and uh, has just recently discovered it, as if it hasn't been. <laughs> like we have three normal bins and one bin that has like a pet cutout. She tries to go in the other bins. So clearly she knew this bin existed, but she just ignored it until recently when she was like, oh, new home, new toy, new spot for Cleo. Incredible. Did you get a picture of Cleo with glitter face? No, we were mostly concerned about getting glitter off face. Cats are not the best at object permanence. Where will the Cleo picture be posted? Yeah, Twitter and Instagram probably. Yeah, all your, all your favorite cat watching sites. <laughs> Well, we could build all right, sorts of... Right, you can post of... it on your Tumblr if you want. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, we could post all... Uh, post, Jesus Christ, brain, come on. We could build all sorts of exciting things here, but I think we're just going to go through this vanilla standard Is doctors some borders? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, bad. <laughs> um, we definitely have some crossover with people who are in our chat and in Doug Doug's uh, people of, of good taste. <laughs> <laughs> right, I don't know if you watched Doug Doug's newest video yesterday, which is uh, making chat GPT build Snake 2. It was really funny. We Cyan and I watched it yesterday, and it was really good. <laughs> I saw it recommended. He was like, yes, and as you can see, it can't actually code very well. <laughs> However, we're going to make it do it anyway. <laughs> uh, that, and we ended up watching Easy Speezy's playthrough of every Henry Stickman game. <laughs> yeah, it's just fun. It's just so long. <laughs> so, shall we fight these gloom arms? <laughs> sure. I can't avoid Isn't them. It? I'm just saying. Like I when I did this I built an auto turret to zap the gloom arms and then uh Shadow Ganon uh came to mess me up. Oh you didn't know that <laughs> that happened? Uh that was the first time I had um uh actually, no, that's not the first time we'd faced a phantom Ganon, but I didn't realize just how aggressively it could teleport. <laughs> ah. I wanna ask who's playthrough of Henry Stickman? Easy speezy. Spelled exactly how you would think. Excellent. Let's just YouTuber. take out that guy first. Let's just let's just be let's just be. Tactical. It was like a two-hour video. I I like that the Henry Stickman games are also the same people who made Among Us. So for the Stickman collection, you can find little Among Us figurines hiding in various scenes, and you have to click on them to get like hundred uh, percent achievement. This is fun. Ah, surprise, bitch! I have a second rocket shield. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, damn. I really thought he was going over the edge. There we go. Have fun with the phantom arms. Right, let's switch to Oh, wow. He, <laughs> he was like, no. A jump there. One more. Like, just the, the full, like, shonen protagonist. Like, I can still fight. But then I just whacked him over the edge. Let's get a better bow. Or at least a different bow. That is the cat. Oh, thank you. Cat options. Time to put you out of my misery. <laughs> cool. Very. All right. Now, back to business. Excuse me, gentlemen. Back to arms. <laughs> I could just stay up here and snipe you. But you are a worthy opponent, and I will treat you as such. I wish you could muddle bud phantom arms. That would be very funny. Oh, that would just slap each other. Yeah. Smack, 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 smack. Smack, smack, smack. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, Turtle says you just held shit so he wouldn't fall off the edge. Classic ledge protection. <laughs> Genius. That's how you know he's a real Minecrafter. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me get my uh, good shield back. Are or at you least hearing a cat in the audio? Probably not. Not ours. <laughs> there he is. Ours went to go take a nap. Hey, stop glooming, bro. That's indecent. Rude. <laughs> This is In not how we treat no our less. friends, Phantom Ganon. <laughs> Honestly, really been liking the trend of gentle parenting your family members who say dumb stuff at holidays. <laughs> it's like, no, that's not nice. You don't say that kind of thing to your friends. I know you disagree, but we don't have to shout. <laughs> Red, what was that? Big fact. I, he's glooming in the in public, no less. It's rude. <laughs> I already You're getting gloom all over the road. <laughs> Bro, that shit stains. Not very suave a <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, comment. Uh, well, I just got that sword and it's already busted. On Ganon's steely buttocks, no less. Does Gloom Ganon really have a steely buttocks? Hmm. No. <laughs> exactly. Oh. oh god, where's Minoru when you need her? Eh. Floor is lava, floor is lava. Ugh. She's okay. too busy. Uh, suavemente. <laughs> she's doing she's the true suavemente. It's a, it's the power that Ganon stole from the mighty Zonai civilization. <laughs> the power of suavemente. All right. Well, I think there's a few ways we could finesse this, but we're just gonna do it this way. Cleo, Cleo is. Gray and black cat. She's stripy. <laughs> That's we. Stripey she's a rescue daddy. man. It's not like we went looking for a specific cat. <laughs> she's gray. She's black. She's very sweet. And only hisses when we try to put her in her carrier. <laughs> oh, she gets so sweet. And at other cats. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Ray Leonard. Happy that you like it. <laughs> Enjoy the channel. There's ten years of it. <laughs> Much channel. Very well. You know, if you start watching OSP right now, by the time you hit midnight, you'll be able to finish your Rome video. I was gonna, I was gonna say. <laughs> Liam, your cat is not cooler, but I appreciate you trying. <laughs> <laughs> Liam, were you gonna take that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're challenging me. <laughs> In ten years. Treasure. What treasure? Bomb flat. Oh, that's actually really good. Great. What else you got for me? Actually, hold on. I can do. I can do the math. Um. <laughs> If you start watching my Rome video, hold on, hold, wait, hold on, I'm trying to find the timestamp, trying to find the timestamp. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, if, wait, wait. Stay on target, stay on target. Uh, uh, 58. If you start watching my Rome video at 10.02, 
Rome falls at midnight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which Rome video? The Rome video. <laughs> you know. The History Rome. Of Rome resummarized. The only one that matters now. <laughs> okay. So. My plan. We're gonna get farther down. And we're gonna put a travel medallion down there. You guys may have noticed I've been slapping down travel medallions at various points of the journey. We're just gonna pick up the one we put back there and we're gonna put it down wherever we go. And then, I think we're gonna go to the surface. We're gonna do a little bit of like, you know, ungloomifying ourselves. We might collect more food, uh, more weapons perhaps. Okay, fine, whatever. Stay rocks. I don't care. I'm not mad. Um, just, as are I you saying. behind on comments? Because I feel like it just reduplicated. What's going on? Yeah. You guys okay? Yeah, no, it was just, it, we decided to go back through like the last minute of comments just real fast. Ah. Uh, so I wanted to suggest that perhaps for 10K, mayhap, I could, not 10K, sorry, like 1K, I could like fight a Gleok or some shit, you know, classic I think stuff. We were going to do Cleo for 1K, but we, I mean, could, we, we can do both. We can do the Gleok and do the. Do you both. can't spell Cleo without some of the letters in Gleok, so it seems only appropriate. <laughs> I don't know how to play Gleok. Can I just say, I don't know if anyone else does New York Times puzzle type things. Wordle is fine, but if you ever try to do their spelling bee, it lets you know just how bad you are at spelling, and you cannot play it unless you can accept that. <laughs> oh, actually, I think all the letters of Cleo are in Gleok. Uh, no, it's, it ends with a K. Yeah, is, it, is it a CK? -A. No, it's not. I thought it was no, CK. No, 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 It's not O-C-K. Oh, right. Someone says at 10k you fight Ganondorf in your underwear. Mm. No. I don't think we're going to hit I don't think I'm going to agree to that one. I mean, it didn't say you have to beat Ganondorf. <laughs> it just said fight. Yeah, you know, we've used that to get out of a couple challenges uh, at some point. Alternative, I mean, Red fights Cleo for 1k? No. Absolutely not. No! How Cleo could you do win. this to me? <laughs> Cleo has Sharpos. Yeah, it simply wouldn't be fair. We need red. Otherwise, you guys are never getting any more Journey to the West. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect. 2K, I'll play uh, the Suavemente music <laughs> through the speaker. <laughs> Ooh, please do. There you go, friends. Get to 2K, you get suavemente <laughs> Do it for the Suave. Do it for the mission. Share this with your friends to totally suavemente them. <laughs> the new Rick roll is suavemente. <laughs> I wish. God, I wish. Ah, seems you have caught me. And I like that there are random gibdos down here. <laughs> How did they get here? Where did they come from? Ganon can just kind of spawn monsters. It's pretty clever. I also like how they're giving us these extremely manageable bombable walls, except when we don't have our rock breakers with us because we can't have yeah. sages down here. Also, you guys recognize where we are? Yeah. Opening cutscene time, baby. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> First, really into the Cleok. <laughs> How far are the videos into Journey to the West? Only one way to find out. <laughs> if you start them now, you probably won't finish by midnight. But you can um, certainly I try. I invite you to try. <laughs> They Depends are... on where you are located and how fast you watch them. <laughs> Let's see, on average, they're about 15 minutes each. There's 11 of them. Yeah, honestly, that's not too unmanageable. You could do that. 11 into Journey to the West. We uh, just reached chapter 61, in case that's what you were asking. We are Is this also breakable? It is. Cleo and Ziggy have actually met via webcam. I have actually never met Ziggy in real life, what? despite the fact that I have been offered to multiple times. <laughs> just have never actually made it happen. I was gonna, and then I got COVID, so the universe just yeah. doesn't want it to happen. Yeah. Sorry, mate. It's all good. I'm just glad you got COVID, else got COVID and I got a stainless steel pan. So in case that is what happened that weekend, yeah. <laughs> Daniel! Oh, Daniel. what up? Hey, oh! <laughs> Still a no death, no damage run? Oh, you know it. Don't look at my health bar. <laughs> <laughs> As we all know, I have New never Year. died playing Zelda. <laughs> Happy early New Year, Daniel. <laughs> yeah. So 
in case you guys were wondering what was behind those bombable walls when we came here with Zelda, it was spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> no, not the wallable bombs. I like the fact that you can clearly get here. Like, if you just want to speed run this shit, you can get here without finding out any of this and just be like, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, the dramatic irony. She is palpable. Okay. It is I said weird. wallable bombs. Leave me out of it. <laughs> Yeah, the I like stream how it's... is repeating chat. That's so weird. Huh. Oh, man. We're at first I thought it. people were, like, spammy, and then I'm like, like oh, no, oh, no, no, it's just... Oh, I've <laughs> seen that happen before. It's not happening on my end. You guys might need to reload. No, it's not happening on your computer, either. That's yeah, just in the, it's just we have it, the YouTube um, video. Yeah, we have the video up on big screen. <laughs> Boy, okay. Uh, all right, let's just slap down our travel Hey, gun. guys, we're at 445. We We're need to hit really it. Well. We're, that's amazing, but we need to hit a thousand for you to get that Cleo pick. Thank you to and the Bryant, fight. And, and the Gleo Anonymous. Fight. And Anonymous and Riley. And Anonymous. And that's everybody so far. And another Anonymous. Thank you so much. And uh, as always, we just want to say we really appreciate all you guys who are donating fairly large sums of money. It's amazing and definitely appreciated, but I also want to say all of you donating $5, $1, $10, also super appreciated. It adds up, and it is. Yes, it does. Else. I'm trying to remember where the point of no return door is. I think that one might. That's the thing. Like, it's got that really ominous glow. Is it playing the ominous music? It's been playing ominous music this whole time. Here's the thing. Uh, you'll see it. It'll... It'll have a new text overlay for the area you're in. I thought also, so, wait, yeah. Um, how, uh, what's your Z elevation right now? We are at, uh, that's the third number? Minus 1352. Yeah. No, there's more. I mean, I know there's more, but like, anyway. Oh, they're so yucky. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone should watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. This is the exact texture they use for the Philosopher's Stones, probably for similar reasons. Okay, bye! Yeah. Nothing ventured! Gloom's Lair? Gloom's Lair feels bad. Show me, show me the stats! <laughs> uh, 1,200. 1,200, yeah. You're right, Steven. There are 1.2 people here, so if each of you did donate one dollar, we would get Cleo. But also, I understand it is the holiday season and not all everyone can donate right now. Please do not feel obligated to donate. You're if welcome you want, and not required. Yes, if you want to see other Cleo picks, you can always go to Blue and Red's Instagram or my Instagram. There are many. And I'm pretty sure Indigo's Instagram has a few Ziggy picks for you, too. So, oh yeah, this is where we get the torch, and then there's one more jump. Yeah, <laughs> the solitary torch that you lost. It's because Zelda dropped it when she disintegrated and teleported back in time. Gosh, Zelda. We're Damn, here. Bloom, you live like this, says <laughs> Gabe. <laughs> All right, we're gonna. Were you gonna drop a travel medallion? I'm gonna drop a travel medallion at the end of the corridor. Then I think uh... we're gonna warp away, just a little bit. You can't donate in your region or country. That's also fine. YouTube giving it works very well, but doesn't always work. Uh, I, think... hmm. I thought it was supposed to work everywhere. I, I think it Maybe usually not. does, but not always because of certain bank. Oh, certain yeah. banks won't let you Maybe. do international transactions. Yeah. Red, you need to take the torch, bring it to the light dragon, and just drop it on her forehead like, hey. You, you dropped this. Missed. <laughs> you dropped this, yeah. Octopus Gardener, totally understand. Congratulations on starting a business. Oh, God. Oh, gosh, the music, the atmosphere. Do you have music on your end? No, I just, I just <laughs> know what it sounds like. Wait, you guys have music? <laughs> I mean, I have music, and it slaps. Okay. All right, where are we sitting? 669? You guys didn't tell me we were at the nice number. <laughs> nice! <laughs> nice! I'm, I can't see the number. The I can't see the chat's in the way. Yeah, we have the chat overlay. Okay. Okay, we'll be back. Um, we'll I'll be, be back. Your Singapore people. Uh, oh, so many donations. Uh, Irene, 
um, Anonymous, uh, Abigail, TBR Wolf, Anonymous, Anonymous, Nick, Anonymous, uh, MJ, not the, the Marvel, Marvel one. <laughs> That's really funny. Mm -hmm. Thank you all so much. And if we that. miss your donation, very sorry. Chad is being finicky today, but we do appreciate you as well. Yes. If we miss your donation, we are blameless. It's YouTube's fault. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. All right, let's get our hearts back a little bit. You, you good? Deep breath? Yeah, we're good. It's just the tension. I remember, so I, I mentioned the first time I played this, I just one more thinged my way into the point of no return and had to fight the boss on very minimal prep work. Um, yeah, so that was fun. That was fun in a very tense, in-character sort of way. But it's nice to also take a little bit of time. I think we should do some shrines. Let's set sure. the sensor to shrines and find some shrines. Jack, I hope you enjoyed Venice. Yeah. Okay. Actually, we'll be back to Ganondorf after this commercial break. <laughs> Ganondorf will be right back. Do, 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 imagine, <laughs> imagine the Ganondorf POV where it's like you see this like twink coming down into your castle, ruining all of your monsters, gets to the edge of the platform where he's about to jump down and kick your ass is like. No, I can be stronger, and then warps away again, and it's like, fuck, fuck, I, fuck. I want the Demon King quaking in his fucking boots over what I've got planned for him. <laughs> and I just imagine Gandorf going, I don't think about you at all. <laughs> non suavamente, non suavamente. <laughs> How much do you have to donate to get Red to find all the Korok seeds? A lot. $100,000. dollars <laughs> You donate on your own $100,000. <laughs> I do have a price for this, but we're both going down together. <laughs> uh, you know what? Some Sky Island crystals are actually pretty doable. Let's see. Um, I did go and get most of the ones last time, but that one, there's definitely stuff up there. How much for 20 Koroks? This isn't a negotiation. <laughs> <laughs> it's also $100,000. <laughs> I feel like it's always kind of in a negotiation with chat. Like, let's be honest. <laughs> it's what we call the fourth wall. <laughs> okay. If it's done by midnight, I feel like we got the better deal healer. I don't... I, I, I mean... <laughs> I'm pretty sure Doctors Without Borders gets the better deal out of yeah. all these. <laughs> I don't need to win. I just need Doctors Without Borders to win. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to win. We just need chat to lose. No. Yes, yes. Okay. How much to launch a Korok into space? I'd do that for free. <laughs> One thousand dollars. <laughs> Just uh, cost of materials, fund the rockets. We're gonna recreate the Koga rocket, but do it right this time. See a lot of uh, ten dollar, five dollar, or euro, or Canadian dollar coming into chat. Really oh, beautiful. appreciate. Beautiful. Strike seeker. Um, and Grayson, thank you all. And John. Pretty close. <laughs> Pretty close to the Cleopatra. Uh, Anastasia, mm -hmm. you? <laughs> you see that one Korok over there? The price is $100,000. <laughs> I'll buy it at a high price. Okay. Um... Let's build a mech. We don't need to build a mech. We have a mech. Yeah. Her name is Minoru, and she's very nice. I if Jack, uh, who was in Venice, says, Venice glass is very expensive, but it's gorgeous. It sure is. When Cyan and I were in Venice um, last year, uh, we stopped into a glass blowing shop and got, among uh, some other things, a little um, kind of like gold and red um, St. Mark's Lion in glass, which is really, really cool. But everything is just so beautiful. There was so much insane stuff out there. There's the small little trinkety things like, you know, a little like half inch tall penguin or stuff like that you can get and then there's some things that are very complex and really cool 
Didn't we get you guys like a Venice glass cat at some point or something like that? I feel like. Yes. 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 yes, yes. That was uh, two Christmases ago. Right. Uh, yeah. Gift from your family was, was very appreciated. Yeah. This year for, um, we always do like Christmas ornaments, one for each of us. Um, Blues got very delayed, so I was looking for a backup ornament, and we found Obi Wan Kenobi, yeah, uh, a Hallmark Obi Wan uh, ornament, high key amazing, beautiful. <laughs> we also uh, took your uh, Venator class. Oh yeah, I got a little uh, Star Wars Venator class Star Destroyer poly bag, just a little like forty piece guy, and then I strung um, some some thread through it. Ooh, buttonhole twist. Yeah. Oh. It was difficult to find the balance point, so it wasn't, like, sinking, but uh, we made it. <laughs> yeah, we're fine. Do you have a favorite place you've traveled to? Um, no. We've been lucky enough to go to a lot of places. I really liked Quebec. Quebec was, <laughs> Quebec was really cool. Quebec City rules. Makes me count. Oh god, is that a blood moon? Wait. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Not now, sir. I have to. Shit! Alright, Ganon. That's fine. If you get cooking with MSP, right? <laughs> I mean, what do you want cooked? Spicy simmered fruit? <laughs> I can do spicy simmered fruit. Wow, you one quarter play. heart. You really showed me, sir. <laughs> Favorite place to travel, I mean, it's gotta be just kind of like Italy by default, but in terms of, I can say, like, the biggest surprise, I would definitely put Iceland as the, the place that has surprised me the most each time I go. Copenhagen okay. is pretty cool. Copenhagen is great. We got him, um, and in five minutes, we'll get him again. <laughs> someone someone uh, asked for tips for Quebec. Um, knowing basic French is very helpful. It's really useful wherever you're going to know how to say yes, no, please, thank you, and uh, how do how do I get to, and then point. <laughs> yeah, we're just blue's favorite wait. places in Greece. Blue has been to Greece a lot. I've been to Greece too much. <laughs> it's I, one of those I've things where, like, to... <laughs> if you go there for family trips, it significantly changes the way you feel about it. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. We hit one K. Yo, hey, Whoa. all right, everyone. First, we Thank kill this Lionel again. Uh, then we find today. a Gliok. We We're can do the Colosseum Gliok again. That could be fun. Yeah, we can. Um, I sent you the Cleo pic. To be oh, yes, we can post the Cleo pic. I'll also post the Cleo pic. Check out the Cleo pic on all your favorite uh, Instagram sources and also your Twitter. <laughs> I'm going to do this one. You can do that one if you'd like as well. Oh, man. What a... Perfect. I was going to do this one? That's the one I'm doing. Oh, that's your one. What? No, we can do the same one. Oh, okay. It's okay. <laughs> they only hit 1K. It's one Cleo pick <laughs> on multiple sources. So the good thing about this is that this does mean all those bad guys in Gloom's approach respawn, but that's what our travel medallion is for. <laughs> what? My, my. What a surprise! It seems you've caught me mid-suavemente! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's a good one? Or what's an okay one? You. It's like, oh, huh, that's weird. That bow on the ground looks just like mine. How'd that get there? No. Existential horror time loop, but it's just because Ganondorf keeps putting his monsters through just nightmarish Sisyphusian existences trying to kill me. Oh, he can't be tamed. <laughs> Alright, that was fun. What was next? Gleok? Right. Yep. Okay, cool. Um...
Yeah, we can do the Colosseum one. I at least know where that one is. Also, I thought of a place that I think we'll have a shrine that we haven't gotten to yet. Let's see, are these upgraded? Is this one nicer than the... Let's find out. No. Okay, cool. Ugh, I guess spawn camping doesn't really do much. Oh well. Uh, Colosseum, where are you? You could probably run there. But why do that? We can just throw that. Bird app. Wow! Wow! Pretty sure it's the letter app. Thank you, Anonymous, me. for your $1,000 donation. Oh, holy <laughs> fuck. Oh. Wow, thank you. So do you want, um, like, a second Gleok, or what are we doing yeah. here? <laughs> <laughs> a second Cleopec? We've Question had one, yes. <laughs> but what about second Cleopec? It's posted on Instagram, so if you go to OSP's Instagram or the Cyan Bakes Instagram, you should see said Cleopec. It is going up on the letter app now. Um... But yes, thank you. <laughs> Letter app. Um, <laughs> Wish I must be its name. So what what were we gonna do for two thousand? Oh yeah, I think you were gonna launch a Korok into space. Hmm. Well, that's <laughs> convenient. <laughs> <laughs> hey, little buddy. Don't worry. I'll teach oh, yeah, you your want friend to very soon. <laughs> don't worry, little friend. You're gonna get exactly what you deserve. <laughs> Oh, okay, I don't have as many rockets as I wanted to. <laughs> you can't see it, but we're dancing. <laughs> okay, we should probably stop. <laughs> yeah, that's just the three uh, the three minute version. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and Korok is about to go in space. Nice of him to say, "Be gentle." Okay. Oh no, that's so cute. Sorry, little buddy. Here, let Don't me help worry, you. Don't worry, you'll get up there. <laughs> yeah. I can get you, you know, altitude. Aim might oh. be another matter. <laughs> but really, after a certain point, it's the journey and not the destination. <laughs> Space to solve a puzzle. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this game lets you do such horrible things to Koroks. Hey, this is enrichment for them. They're like immortal forest spirits. Yeah. They've never been to space before. Yeah. This is going to be exciting and fun. You missed it. What is Suavemente? Uh, Watch the terminal, terminal montage, montage. Uh, <laughs> uh, video about uh, just any of them about Tears of the Kingdom. You might need to hit it and then change it. No, I think she's trying to get the. Uh, I want angle. it to stand straight the up and down. Angle. Yeah. Yeah, that's not what I want. Hylia. <laughs> it's something like that. Yeah. They're just going to the Sky Islands. It's fine. There we go. Should do it. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh. Okay. Now we're just gonna move you. There is a slight possibility this actually gets you sort of where you need to go. So you're welcome. Really funny. Up it goes. Hmm. Should do it. Should I do think it. that'll just put it into the cliff. I'll throw it in the cliff. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, little guy. Don't worry. Shh, 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 shh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. Behold the math major at work. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted engineering, you should have gotten Noir to stream this instead. <laughs> the other way, so he goes off the cliff. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, there we go. That's the straight up and downness I wanted. Good. There's also a slight possibility this will kill him. No, he's a no no, no, first spirit. No. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Good job. He's fine. Anyway, where were we? <laughs> Coliseum, uh, well, Oh, You have to fight a Glia. <laughs> yeah. Noir does do engineering. Technically, I also did engineering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. falls off the wall. <laughs> <sighs> 
I hope if you do enough of those, like, the Deku tree gives you a stern talking to. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, and weather. now the Gleok. Yes. Yes. Girl! <laughs> <laughs> I love the environmental storytelling of how after the Korok like falls off of the horizon <laughs> past the cliff, the oof is like you the see X it coordinate moving. of the oof is way further to the left. Yep. <laughs> Red sacrificial engineering. Something like that, yeah. Oh um Susaga, you didn't miss anything. Uh, someone donated, and so we lost the Korok into space. As you do. So what do we do at 3K? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. King Gliok? <laughs> no. Uh, well, I mean, that's up to you. If you want to do a King Gliok for 3K, you're certainly welcome to. I don't think I've done a King Gliok yet. A couple, couple dollars here and there, and then to uh, Austin for 50 so, yeah, I guess if we hit 3k, Red can attempt to click King Gliok. The hard part's gonna be getting to a King Gliok. Unless yeah, we want to do the one in the up. depths, which I know where it is. Uh, it doesn't require do flying machines. Yeah. Not crucifying what? the Korok. We already sent one into space. Yeah, we didn't crucify it. We did something much more humane. <laughs> He'll run out of oxygen before he feels any pain. <laughs> Need I remind everyone, they are canonically immortal forest children. <laughs> it's fine. They're fine. Thank you to Eric for the 100. Thank you. Whoa. <laughs> this is my favorite. Because I love how Ascend kind of freezes time, so you can always see how fucked you are. <laughs> the Korok doesn't need to join CrossFit. 3k do the floating coliseum again? Maybe 5k I'll do the floating coliseum okay. again. You need Deal. to really <laughs> make 3k really want King Leoc, 5k floating coliseum. Again. Do it for the doctors. Do it for their borders. On oh, God, we're gonna get you some borders, my friend. <laughs> you have witnessed the Korok in the 12th Yeah. Yeah. The Romans would send people into space instead of crucifying if they could. I don't know about that, honestly. <laughs> We've decided to ascend. <laughs> oh good, we're fine. He's distracted. <laughs> Someone here really hates school. <laughs> what the hell are these guys shooting at? Where are you looking, bro? With them big ol' eyes. Wow, can we... It's not a one cycle, but can we get him without him going into low orbit? I wonder how different modern Christianity would be if Jesus was launched into space. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone would be way more into the space force. <laughs> I would love that as some kind of like weird sci-fi crystal dragon Jesus kind of thing. That's a technical term. There's a TV Tropes page for it. It's when okay. you have like a space civilization and you basically just reskin Christianity, but you're like, we worship like a crystal dragon, but it has the exact same vibe of Jesus. Got it. Like in the Lion Witch in the Wardrobe, where Jesus is a lion. Yes. I did use the term God's persona recently. Uh... <laughs> in casual conversation or a video? In a video script. In a video script. <laughs> Oh, no, it would have been better if it was in polite conversation. I mean, I certainly could have with the, some of the conversations I have with my family, but, uh... <laughs> How to talk to your elderly Christian family members. Uh, so, yeah, if you read The Lion, Witch, and the Wardrobe, and you see Jesus' persona, the lion. <laughs> okay. Great. Angela, we're happy to have you as part of our New Year's Eve program. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> Okay, that was our 2k thingy. Great. So my loose plan... I feel like there's got to be another shrine on Satori Mountain. Because there's usually one near the peak, but I don't, just don't think I've gotten it this time. I wasn't paying attention. It's fine. We beat the Thunder Gliok. We're just going somewhere Oh no, else. that part I saw. Ah, good. Thank you. 
This is really good, actually, because this way we can get a lot of uh, good foods from Satori Mountain. Assuming we don't get struck by lightning so hard that they all explode. Uh, <laughs> uh, the amount of casual Whoa! 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 <laughs> no, did you guys see what that lightning strike just did to this beautiful orchard? <laughs> Wait, we're about to. Oh my god. Like, that wasn't even my fault. <laughs> wow. Listen, natural disasters happen every so often. Come on, if you can't if you can't poke fun at your religion, is it even worth it? Hmm. The number one rule of every religion is to have fun and be yourself. <laughs> Sweats furiously in Latin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on. Are the trees are called Evermeet? <laughs> yes. Huh, I didn't realize they had a name. I thought they were just asshole trees. You've got some skill. They hardly posed a challenge to you, let alone a threat. I like your pink hair, bro. Perhaps it's fate we were to play together like this. Wow, that's you really good. Just ever loving shit out of this guy? Uh, yes, that is my plan once this conversation ends. <laughs> is this a Yiga? No, well, I don't think so. He's got a name. The Yiga clan always just have, like, generic oh, traveler yeah. titles. No, you're right, you're right. Range hey, hey, Nars, box. you want to see a magic trick? <laughs> All right, cool. Have a good one. He's fine. All righty. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Mamma mia. Daisy. Oh, no. You guys having a good time? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Finally, rupees. <laughs> oh, I'm so broke all the time in this game. But that's okay. Who needs money when you're saving the world, right? Are those lizards? Is that just like a fuck ton of lizards? Why are there so many lizard lizards? Palace. Lizard pal. All right. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna do this stealth. We're gonna do this sneak. We're gonna pocket every single one of those lizards. We're happy to uh, have you vibing with us. The mission parameters are simple. In and out, quick and clean. Operation Lizard Snatching. They never even knew what hit them. That's why they call you the boss. Okay, cool. We have like eight lizards now. <laughs> Here's a lizard. There's a lizard. Everyone's a lizard lizard. I don't know why we did that. I don't know why they were hanging out there. But results don't lie. <laughs> oh. I think I may have been incorrect about there being a second shrine on this mountain. But we learned a lot, had fun, and I just have so many lizards in my pockets now. So I consider this an absolute win. Nearly enough to start a lizard ball team? <laughs> what the fuck is lizard ball? It's exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. You have a lizard, and they play ball. <laughs> you need nine per side. Okay. It's like sports ball, but with lizards. Just like, just like sports ball. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Red, red, lizard queen. Got so many lizard <laughs> I kind of fell off of the full cover <laughs> on my desk by Monday. Oh no, there were more lizards, and I let them get away. So... I betrayed my people. <laughs> In one of the campaigns that we're playing, I'm, that I'm actually a player in, um, I made a rogue that just really wanted to be a bard. And so every so often, he'll just make up travel songs as they're traveling. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> they're like, why didn't you just play a bard? I'm like, no, no, you have to understand. He's a rogue. He's really good at stabbing, but he wants to be a bard. It's like everybody who, you know, got an electric guitar when they were 14 and was like, I'm going to be a rock star. <laughs> he was just gifted an accordion, and I have to stop myself from real life buying an accordion. <laughs> you can just ask Noir to borrow his. This. I'm sure he has one. Nor, I think, does have an accordion. I think he got it while we were at... Um... He did get an accordion yeah, when we were at PAX. while we were at PAX. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I'll get, like, a concertina, like the little mini. I really think thought it would be easier to us, find more shrines. <laughs> This is very silly. There's two more shrines on the Great Pet Toe. Okay. Ooh, that's a good Regarding one. Regarding hurdy-gurdies. What? 
<laughs> Why are we regarding hurdy gurdies? Because <laughs> Octopus mentioned Gardener in mentioned chat. Uh, I I love the idea of a hurdy gurdy, but I feel like the fun of a hurdy gurdy is more saying I own one than actually playing one. You know, like yeah. if you're like, oh, I own a hurdy gurdy, everyone's like, wow, that's so fun and wacky. But like, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the sound it makes is just unparalleled. There's nothing else that has that that. Mm, that like Do you sonic know what a hurdy gurdy is? Yeah. <laughs> there was like a solid week where I just <laughs> kept saw? listening to the Black Sails opening on loop, a show I haven't watched, but the the sound that plays at the beginning and throughout the opening is just like a sound that the creators hurdy gurdy created when they were like tuning it up one day and they never figured out how to make it happen again. I also, someone mentioned an ocarina. We have an ocarina. We do have an ocarina. I, I can play the ocarina. I am bad at it. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> What the hell is a hurdy gurdy? So go check out the Brian David Gilbert uh, song <laughs> regarding hurdy gurdy. Yes, it's very educational. But yeah, I feel like hurdy gurdies sound not too dissimilar to an accordion and are a lot harder to store. Yeah, the the accordion. Now I I don't have the words to describe how instruments sound, but. I really like the kind of, like, drone of a hurdy-gurdy that you don't quite get with an accordion. Okay, how about this? If we hit 3,000, <laughs> I'll play something on the ocarina. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I don't know how well that will go. Well, it's going to be absolutely awful. Audio balance? It's going to spike like crazy. <laughs> I'll sit for the dreams. We should do it. <laughs> if you guys want ocarina, you can pay for ocarina. <laughs> Oh, oh, have I miscalculated? Have I miscalculated? No, we're good. Perfect. Can we get a donation check? We're... Uh, none recently. We are at... Uh... 2166. Yeah. If someone donates $3, we'll be at 69, so... <laughs> Where are those other shrines? Do it for the doctors. Do it for the ocarina. A 10k red buys a hurdy gurdy. I don't think red wants a hurdy gurdy. Red I does want not a want a hurdy gurdy, but thank you. But I am unemployed. <laughs> okay, let's see. Actually, I really want a cello. I have a violin and a viola, and we don't have space for a, a like double bass, so. Clearly, the next step is cello. Of course. <laughs> already got that one, right? I guess that's the one we have. Where Thank you to Anonymous for donating $20 to the Ocarina Dream Fund. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Any love for a theremin? I love the idea of a theremin. Also, someone did donate $3. It was a little late, but now we're at 96, which is also a pretty funny number. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Violins are surprisingly loud. Also, yes, I was an orchestra kid. I know what a double bass is. <laughs> Super fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, sorry. Uh, I didn't offhandedly say I lost my job. There was a whole post back about it, but I lost my job in September. We're working on getting a new one. I've had mm -hmm. a couple interviews. It's been good. Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should just do some more of the Sky Island shrines. Some more Sky Island. Yeah. It's just being real fussy today. I, used I thought I'd been leaving some shrines unattended, but I think I was being pretty diligent about getting most of the- Oh, just kidding, just kidding. Hold on, there's something on the radar, sir. Hold on, <laughs> do, I'm do, do, do. <laughs> But yes. Uh, I used to have a guitar, but I gifted it to Sister B. So now Sister B has a guitar, and I have a ukulele that I'm real bad at. <laughs> You just gotta get across the icy river of death. Oh no. Tulin, Tulin, Tulin. This is gonna go badly. Okay, that's fine. that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We have so many hearts. I like that, Brandon, uh, you say you have a theremin and play it at inappropriate moments. I wanna know what is an inappropriate moment to play the theremin. <gasps> like, are you waiting till like you're in a work meeting? Are you waiting till someone's giving you bad news and you go like, oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, you cheating bitch. Oh, just kidding. I hit it. <laughs> My siblings and I are not a math problem, but I have three of them. They're A, B, and C. <laughs> In that order. <laughs> I'm the oldest, and then the one right under me is A, and so on and so forth. 
Cleo snoring. Oh yeah, she snores. Oh, silly baby. <laughs> yes, I know I'm missing out on a lot of things not playing the double bass. I love the idea of it. And I, when I say there's no room, there's really no room. <laughs> there is really no room. <laughs> Unfortunately for Blue, he also ended up with three younger sisters uh, when we got married, so now Blue also has to deal. Yeah. It's a hard knock life. Oh, we're at 3K. Whoa. Oh, yeah. All yeah. Right. For 3K oh wow. Now. Playing the ocarina? <laughs> right. Science getting the ocarina. Uh, thank you, Eleanor, uh, for your $1,000 donation. Holy hell. Thank you. Damn, you and guys also, are killing it you today. You okay, dear? Yeah, I walked into a chair. Wow. Oh, was, that sounded painful. It's fine. It was my thought. I want our bucks bound. Thank you. Thank you. All now right. you guys get to hear my I might suggest you sit a little back. I'm going to. I'm just okay. getting the right now. I don't even remember when the last time I played this was. A couple months ago. Also, I don't have the music book, so that's fine. No. Stop eating him. Okay. Show me your fucking weak point, bro. <laughs> Minerva's like, fuck this, I'm out. Whatever, man. Nope, that was bad. Alright, whatever, fuck this guy. We take those. I don't know, what am I supposed to play? I don't I, know I if don't I know. know. It's the take Ocarina of Time theme! We're playing Zelda! You'll find the music book! Ah. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Okay. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a tough one. Which which direction does it go? <laughs> you guys okay? <laughs> Well, they the music book has like pictures, and it shows like three, and it's like a column, and then a gap, and a column, and a gap. Huh. I think um, it's supposed to go across because it's like, do 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 do. But okay. I, don't, I don't know that thing as well as the other. <laughs> I've done I'm it. I've solved the game. puzzle. But... <laughs> I actually don't really know this song either. Red, how does the Ocarina of Time theme go? Uh, if I recall correctly, it's do 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 do. No, that's Kokiri Forest. That one I can play. <laughs> Is that not the theme? Nope. <laughs> well, whatever, man. It's probably good enough. Oh, we need uppies. That's what's going on here. We need uppies. We need uppies. Yeah. Oops. Sorry guys, I don't actually know this song. <laughs> oh, sorry is song, not Kokiri Forest. That's that's a really good point. Sorry is song slash Lost Woods. Yep, that's I, I get confused. You misled me. Here's sorry is song. We'll we'll do our best on that one. Oh right, do 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 do. Yeah. Thank you. really hard to play the ocarina quietly. <laughs> yeah, I, I knocked the game down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. Sorry, we're not we're not getting this song very well. We have the songbook, but I don't actually play the ocarina that much. So here we go, ocarina, <laughs> with with potato lyrics. <laughs> Which one are you looking for? I'm looking for... <laughs> Is 
Is it still happening? The music? Yeah. Yeah. I can't hear any of it. Oh, really? Damn. Yeah. Is Discord actually just, like, filtering it out? I guess it must be. It's the gain. <laughs> All right. Let me play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Well, no, because Red could hear me, but it was filtering out the ocarina. Oh. Wild. <laughs> Can you play the ocarina on the ocarina? No. <laughs> Discord says no. Wow. So could you guys hear none of that? Uh, I certainly heard none of that. Ah, oh, damn it. I've been playing stellar ocarina. No, I'm been so no sorry. Mistake. Get close. Just... Just absolutely nothing. I'm so sorry. Damn it. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's catastrophic. Um, yeah. hold on. Sad. Discord is racist against Ocarina. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm afraid you'll simply have to imagine the Ocarina. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hold on. Uh, turn off input sensitivity. <laughs> Can you hear that? No. <laughs> Damn it. I'm sorry. <laughs> See, I think there's just a certain frequency where above it, it's not going to transmit it. Sorry, guys. I'm really attempting to play the ocarina for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Absolutely none of that came through. Wow. I'm sorry. It was just dead silence. Down. God, that's brutal. I can't believe Discord would do this to us. <sighs> Damn. Damn it. What if I recorded on my phone and played it? <laughs> uh, just playing it closer help? I'm literally no. sitting as close as I can to the mic. What if you sit further back? I don't think that's going to be better. Red, did you hear that? Oh, was something happening? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Discord hates Ocarina confirmed. <laughs> the Ocarina no. doesn't sound like a human voice. You're correct, but still. I really like to think they're messing with us. <laughs> Looking for a really, like, I'm sitting here blowing into this thing as loud as humanly possible. <laughs> oh no. Why? Why is it like this? Wow. Only it's those with pure hearts about. can hear the notes. <laughs> is noise suppression on? Probably. <laughs> no. No. Noise suppression. There you go. Oh, okay. None. Oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> I heard it there. I heard it. It came through. There you go. You get Twinkle Twinkle on the ocarina after a lot of time. Wow. It was like it wouldn't be an OSP stream if there weren't tech problems. <laughs> it was still like every other note when we got to the end there. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm just aggressively ocarinaing. Oh, <laughs> the pickup is the most inconsistent. I'm trying to do toot for you. It's okay. Whew. They've heard the ocarina. They knew it was there. We knew it existed. <laughs> Here I am, like, playing lots of ocarina. It's like, damn, I'm remembering how to play this. It's like, we're getting nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> wow. Well, that was amazing. Happy New Year's. Have some bad ocarina. <laughs> Hold on, let me try to play the song in time. I'm terrible okay. at this. War, ocarina. Other way. All right. Yep, there you go. Um, is noise supposed to be happening? No. Okay, good. <gasps> you're gonna have to get a lot closer to Mike if you just want to pick it up.
Um, oh, there, there was something. Something was. Yeah, was oh. pretty, you were pretty quiet. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh. I can like hear ocarina dudes, but they're very disconnected from one another. <laughs> <laughs> you learned Zelda's nightmare. <laughs> also, there was Imagine a $100 a donation in there. <laughs> Thank you for your donation. Imagine a version of Ocarina of Time where Link's just playing and no one fucking hears it. <laughs> he just mysteriously, he pulls out an Ocarina and everyone's like, you gotta play something? He's like, I just did. <laughs> it's like dog frequency. Like, all the neighborhood pets are going bananas, but... Yeah, it turns out Hylian like ears uh, can hear higher frequencies than human can. So. Uh, yeah. Whew. All right, cool. Four K King Leoc, then? Yes, I like this plan. Four K King Leoc. I think that's enough ocarina attempts. Okay. Wow, that is. Sad. I'm so sad. <laughs> Next time we'll pull out the violin and tempt the violin. There we go. Ooh, That's the spirit. Actual months. <laughs> Way out of practice. Well, uh, Shit. uh Eleanor, who donated a thousand dollars, I hope I hope I <laughs> assuaged your <laughs> ocarina love. We really appreciate you supporting these doctors and their borders in my shitty ocarina. <laughs> The ocarina was lovely. It was simply Discord that was conspiring against you. Oh. Why do I have a tree branch? It's good Get game out. design that the uh, the little bloopies run to the cave when you shoot them. Yes, yeah, I love that part. Saxophone? Oh my god, I could get a saxophone. Oh Where no, oh no. You need a wall rack for instruments. You currently just hide them in the game room. And that makes it really easy when I'm playing my rogue that wants to be a bard. It's like, oh, he plays the viola. I'm like, I don't have a viola, but Ooh. I have a viola. Anonymous donated $135 to get us to perfectly 3500 Nice. Good math. <sighs> Something good to fuse to this bad boy. An ocarina. Sorry, I'm still bitter. No, of course. <laughs> you have. Um, well, I have. I don't have my viola because my because Sister C stole it. Because um, I was at college and she needed one for like a full size one, so she stole mine. So I have someone else's viola. I don't know where I got it. Um, <laughs> three of us played the viola. You know, there were they were just around sometimes. Um, I have a violin because I, after playing viola, we had a fiddle club so i played the violin in that um we have a ukulele which i got because i gave my sister my guitar we have the ocarina a lap harp um trying to think what else we have floating around uh we've got a couple other things just floating around but yeah why am i not surprised she's a viola player okay leave the viola out of this <laughs> <laughs> I play flute and orchestra, but it's been a long time since I did that. Yeah, I didn't. I do not only play strings. I actually was in marching band. I played the mellophone because that's what string players played at my school. If you wanted to be in marching band, you either did that or you did color guard. And I wanted to play music, so I learned how to play the mellophone just to be in marching band. Do you still have your flute, Red? Because I'd love to learn the flute. I do still have it. Um. Do, do it on your flute. <laughs> I mean, I don't have it with me right now. Is if we hit a certain enough? threshold, I can pull out my guitar. Oh, yeah. You're much better at the guitar than I was. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. So you played the flute and the guitar. Do you play anything else? Um, I mean, obviously, I think most of us started off on recorder. Oh, yeah. Uh, I found that acoustic and electric guitars play quite differently, which is weird. Um, a lot of electric instruments play weird compared to their <laughs> acoustic counterparts. Yeah. All right. Easy. Ring Rex says, saxophone is like the easiest woodwinds to learn. Now, listen, I wasn't an instrument kid, but something about that no, doesn't. Actually, so. How is saxophone not brass? 
So it's got to read. If it's got to read, yeah. it's a good one. God, oh. It, some of it is also just like... I the. they were shit posting. No, it's about like the timber of the sound. Um, oh almost God. everything played with a read. Like, you, you can learn to identify a lot of different instruments by ear. And after a certain point... You can kind of hear like, oh, all wind, all like woodwinds have the same texture of sound for the most part, um, or at least all all woodwinds played with a reed have the same texture of sound. Um, oh, we also have a piano because the people who we bought this house from just left it behind. Yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah. That's also why I knew our neighbor played the clarinet and not the recorder. Oh yeah. Yeah, clarinets. The the reed provides like this this buzz. It really is texture of the sound. Um, There's no other way to describe stone it. Isn't on the bridge. What? You left it on the part before the bridge. It looked Ugh. like. Ugh. A fun instrument is the oboe. I don't play the oboe. I only know one person in my life who has ever played the oboe, but it's really cool. So if any of you are oboe players. I respect you. You're cool. Everyone should watch. Wait. Why is it playing dragon music? Where is she? Blue was never a band kid, I don't think. Blue no, was, just choir. Blue was an acapella kid. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's right under us! Do it, do it. I, I'm gonna do the shrine first. <laughs> okay, come on, there's no time to lose. <laughs> Minoru, not now! <laughs> but it's definitely the Saxius instrument. Someone said, I'm back. What did I miss? Not the ocarina. <laughs> <laughs> I tried so hard. Okay, let's go. Walk faster, Link. How many instruments does Red have in her house? Uh, I don't know, Red. How many instruments do you have in your house? Um, I've got my guitar and I have a lyre. Uh, but my... Oh, we have a lyre. Yeah. Did I get you that liar? No. No, I got me a liar. I think you had that liar independently. What what, what brand of liar do we, you have? Because our liar was not very good. Um, I don't remember. It was a present. It took... I've learned that tuning a liar takes a lot of time. Like, it takes a while for the keys to kind of stiffen up enough to hold a, a tune. But... Um, mine managed to keep a tune after about a week or two of just consistently tuning it to the right... Thing every day um which is good because i got to play some ghibli music on it which was really nice like a lot of those soundtracks work very well on something that's basically just a harp but small hmm. i really want to learn how to play the harp but if we don't have room for a double bass we definitely don't have room for a harp they're also expensive as heck yeah harps are very interesting but i feel like there are sometimes food like like, sometimes if you go to high T, they'll have somebody there playing a harp. And that's very cool. But I think that's the only context in which a harp makes sense, you know? Yeah, I mean, you can get, like, a Celtic harp that takes a... There's different levels of harp. Because <laughs> hmm. there's, like, you know, a pedal harp is the big one that you usually see. And then there's a lever harp, um, which is smaller, and you can use the levers to change the pitch. And then there's just a lap harp. <laughs> <laughs> Also good for, um, for, like, trying to do, like, ancient-sounding music. The lyre sound is, is yeah. a key ingredient in that. Yeah, so, Blue, you played the ocarina and a little bit of lyre. <laughs> I, I have played the ocarina and a little bit of lyre and a little bit of the, uh, the lap harp. But that's, uh, like, the, the most dabbliest of dabbles. <laughs> All right, where is she? Rec, I love that you have a saxophone that is not yours, and now I want to know where did you get said saxophone? <laughs> no drummers in OSP. No. 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 Nope. Never learned. Okay, so after this, my goal is to get the Forge Island Shrine. Because we've never been there, and it's pretty cool. Oh, apparently we're quiet now that we mess with everything. Oh yeah, because you turned your gain down. If you could yeah. just slap it back to wherever it was before. This should be where it was. I, I had it close, but this is a little better. Where's Indigo? Probably doing her actual other jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I checked in this morning to be like, hey, should I use the group call or just the one where I call Blue and Cyan? And just no response. So I was like, okay, I, that, that's an answer. It's vacation week. 
It is very appropriate to do vacation things. Red, apparently you give percussionist vibes. <laughs> Thanks? <laughs> I attribute that to the no sleeves. Oh, yeah, you know, the tank top will do that. Classic rockers never wear sleeves. Guitar you When's the last time you saw someone play an electric guitar while wearing sleeves? Um, anyone who's over the age of, like, 40. When's the last time you saw, us, like, Bon Jovi <laughs> playing guitar wearing sleeves? Hold on, I'm gonna now find a picture of Bon Jovi playing I think, like, the reason sleeves. that I, I, I associate, like, the no sleeves with percussionists is because, like, their arms have to move so much, so far, so fast, that any impediment, even a single piece of cloth, is too much. <laughs> so the first picture of Bon Jovi on the Wikipedia page... Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's wearing sleeves, but everyone else in the band is. Well, that's fine. Including the drummer? I mean, there's five of them, and four of them are wearing sleeves. I cannot tell you who is who on site. All right. So. Uh oh. Maybe it was the heat of the moment in performance. Anyway, let's get our way over to the fucking Forge Island. Um... Oh, it's so hard. Oh, it's fine. We'll figure this out. Want a snack? I'm okay for right now. Time to go get the crunchiest snack I own. So. Yay! <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, let's go back here. Huh. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> I think two more shrines would be good. We can turn those in for another heart. And every little bit counts. Um, oh, let me get rid of my stupid helmet. Can't get Rivali thinking that he's the most important one of the champions or anything. <sighs> All right, cook some food. Oh, we haven't even been to, wait, what was that? I guess I'll take that as well. Yeah, I think we can get a halfway decent flying machine going. Let me see if we have any fairies we've missed. Do you want to do the uh, the hoverbike version or something more complicated? Hoverbike is probably good. Everyone keeps being like, why aren't you building hoverbikes? And it's like, well, the first time I did one, it kept exploding. So that's probably why, but we could always try getting it actually correct this time. <laughs> oh, lots of springs. Ooh, and cannons. We should uh, we should outfit Minru with some double cannons before we uh, do the do the final battle. In fact, let me just pop these suckers in and get another one. Yeah, ooh, and bombs. I never figured out how you're supposed to use bombs in this game. I've only ever set them off by accident. Okay. Uh, Hyrule did have an industrial revolution. There's an entire game where the point of it is that you ride trains. Yep, the train game. Fear tracks. I think if we get into that waterfall, we'll be in a pretty good position. Let's put on our kicking helmet. There we go. Oh, I forgot we found the entire Zora set. We should tell those people who were like, hey, we, we want to find the Zora helmet for you. Oh, this might be a little bit far. Nah, I think we got this. I think we got this. Can make an argument that every Zelda game that's not, like, the most popular one is somehow underrated. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've been banging that drum for Twilight Princess for years now. <laughs> Although I feel like that's becoming increasingly uncontroversial. I think that is un un uncontroversial. Mm -hmm. I don't think that everyone agrees with it, obviously, but I don't think it's controversial where it's like, oh, Twilight Princess is your favorite? Like, yeah. 
I can see the reasons why. Mm -hmm. yeah, Whereas sure. there's some games where it's like, like four swords is your favorite? Like, <laughs> okay, sure. I showed the- uh, Explain? <laughs> I showed the Zelda timeline video to a friend who had no experience with Zelda games. Uh, I'm not sure she liked it. I had a good time though. <laughs> Whew, just in time. Okay. They really calculated that one out carefully. Do we... Okay, so for 4K, the idea was King Leoc at some point? I think so. I mean, that's it's your call, but that's, I think, uh, what we had Yeah, I'm fine with that. And then I figure... Do we want to set a reward where I pull out my fucking guitar like a guy at a party? That's up to you, dude. <laughs> I mean, it could be funny. Let's okay. see if the microphone even bothers to pick it up. It should, although I suppose I haven't stress tested it. Hey, you're making the platform skew. Uh, very clever. Very clever. Okay. Yeah, we'll just use On these. On the subject boys. of, like, favorite Zelda game opinions, I feel like me being like, oh, my favorite Zelda game is actually Link's Awakening is, like, an obnoxious take. <laughs> <laughs> no! I think that that's a perfectly respectable one to have as your favorite. Instead of like, it feels like such a pretentious choice. <laughs> I don't Back know about that. Yay! And also coffee that doesn't have glitter in it. <laughs> Not yet. I put a lid on it. It probably won't get glitter in it. Good, good. Here we go. Oh, these are weird. Hmm? These are a little weird. I got, like, a snack box as part of a gift exchange. Mm -hmm. And they have Trader Joe's, Gaccio y Pepe, Puffs. Which are interesting. Hmm. Glitter coffee was not intentional. <laughs> I want to sparkle on the inside. No, Link's crossbow training is not the pretentious choice. That's the bro. Are are you all right? Like, Link, do Link's you crossbow need to play training. like any other games? Did yeah. your did your parents just get like the like the Wii like shooting gun thing and Link's crossbow training and be like, all right, that's all your Wii games. <laughs> Have fun. Like that's what that choice for like if that's someone's favorite Zelda game says to me. Someone asked for end of year retrospective thoughts going out of 2023. Uh, stay tuned for a few days when the New Year's Eve bonus podcast uh, <laughs> comes out with that information. Yep. Yes, it does. We should probably not call it the New Year's Eve bonus podcast when it's going up on what January third. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Yeah, fine. <laughs> the New Year's podcast. The New Year's <laughs> podcast. Ooh, hell yeah. I think my life advice coming out of 2023 is anxiety gets re weirdly better when the bad thing happens. Yeah, actually. Depression does not. <laughs> but like, you know, I have a, I have anxiety. You mm -hmm. get like really anxious, anxious over like, what if I'm going to get fired? And then when you do, it's like, huh. All right. Well, it's because and then you have when, a lull. <laughs> well, when it's a hypothetical, you know, you can come up with like I would do this, but then your brain can just keep coming up with more horrible hypotheticals for why your solutions wouldn't work. But when yeah. it actually happens, it's basically like, oh, okay. Well, now I can just deal with what is actually happening and not need to worry too much about you know theoretical things. Wow, this is that's that's my takeaway from twenty twenty three. You survive things. It happens. You're fine. Yeah. You yep. move on. Don't borrow anxiety from the future by... <sighs> um, someone said they just lost their job, too. Any advice? Um, first thing I would say is it's really hard searching for a job right now. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister just recently started a job, and she had been looking since, like, May. So it's probably going to take a hot sec. That's okay. You know, it's it's okay. You'll find something. Um, and also just, you'll get through it. Like it most things really in awful. this space. It, <laughs> like, if, if you've done college applications, you will probably have been told, like, hey, this judgment is not going to reflect on you, your value, or your worth as a person. They, they need to make a decision and they have a lot of applicants. Uh, it's hard to internalize that, but it is very true. Like... 
you know, not getting a job for a while does not mean that you are, oh no, it's a flight thing. <clears throat> anyway, you're fine and you're good and you have a lot of value as a person and not getting a job does not at all reflect on that. Your value is not determined by your productivity, even though it often feels like it is. Yes. All right. Well, the last time we did a proving grounds, we did it very awesome. not the way you're supposed to, but yeah. it looks like this one's less cheesable, oh, which is a shame because that one's really fun. Place. That's yeah. why we have Cleo. Oh, it's zero grab. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Low grab. Yeah, low grab. Oh, great. the edge, bitch. Great. Plus nice. Peaceful jump bullet time win. Yeah, you can't actually do jump bullet time win, but you need the arrows first. That's the I problem. see, yeah. There are many things here that would be easier if I had arrows. <laughs> to the person confused about that. I don't work for OSP, I just live here. You may be thinking of <laughs> Indigo. <laughs> That's okay. As we all know, women all sound the same. It can be hard to keep them straight. Let's see. But yeah, OSP is just red and blue and Indigo. <laughs> and Cleo. Cleo is the human resource officer. Um, so just so you're aware. Ah, oh, shit. Alright, who's... A couple of anonymous donations uh, coming you. in. Thank you all. Getting close to 4,000. Nice. Um, we've decided on a thing for 4,000. Uh, I think maybe fighting a King Gliok, but... Uh... I thought that was 5,000. I think 5,000... Oh, 5,000 was something. Um... We could get King Gliok for 4,000. Instead of who's that Pokemon, it's who's that woman. <laughs> oh, God. Um, uh, for context, that joke is a several years old bit of when we had uh, Red and or Cyan and or Indigo on stream and people would keep confusing who they were. So the joke is that all women sound the same. They obviously don't. Mm -hmm. That's the joke. And I realized that that context might be lacking for some viewers on today's stream. <laughs> that this is an established <laughs> bit. <laughs> I didn't just commit casual sexism. <laughs> I don't know if that would be casual sexism. That's kind of like blatant sexism. <laughs> Also, someone asked, and uh, my Instagram is cyan underscore bakes. You'll know because it's got a picture of Blue from Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends doing finger guns as the profile picture. <laughs> as is my profile picture on all social media. Uh, sorry about the vacuum cleaner that seems to be running rather loudly. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Overwatch, guys. Come on. <laughs> Who's missing? Like rank competitive joke, but like, <laughs> like what's what's the end end point of that joke? It's like ah yes. Casual dress code? What about ranked competitive dress code? The one that I found the funniest was the existence of casual sex implies ranked competitive. <laughs> That's probably the best iteration of the joke. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Link, my man. Um, I am work? married to Blue, but actually my nickname was Blue before I met him, and actually before he existed, because in Marching Man we all had nicknames and I wore blue sneakers, so my nickname was Blue. Huh. Whoop. Yeah. Oh shit. Hmm, this is gonna be interesting. Oh, Wait, I probably need Cyan to. And Indigo's voice apart is asking them to say water. So here's the thing about that. <laughs> Indigo and I actually grew up not too far from each other. 
Right, I think you're supposed to place a barrel on that. That could oh, yeah, work, so but I also think I can just get up there manually and then just break yeah. it. <laughs> I know you could do that, but I can instead cheese it. I think this is the opposite of cheesing it. I just think it'll be funny. Okay, let's see. Alright, how far Guardian up? says, Blue, do you think Assassin's Creed has a chance to be authentic, historically accurate again? Uh, yeah. Mirage was actually weirdly really good at that, in a way that I did not think was possible for that game series. I genuinely really enjoyed it, and I am, like, weirdly, it's it was really good, but also it made me more sad knowing how, like, badly they fucked up in the past, and how, given everything about the setting choices they've got going on for the next handful of games, I feel like they're gonna go back to their bullshit. Maybe they won't, but hmm. I'm not holding out much hope so i i really liked it i just don't think they're gonna keep up that that trend because that really felt like a one-off the way they they that ubisoft talks about it anyway that's it is the antonym of cheesing it milking it I, uh kind no. of <laughs> no like you know milking oh, it for all right oh, yeah. okay let's go like, I don't want to yeah. play... I mean, it, it does make sense, but I don't want to be like, oh, yeah, I mean, I really milked that boss encounter. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I mean, I guess no. it's not the wrongest. I just don't think <laughs> I'd be comfortable using it either. It's not right, but it's not wrong. <laughs> also, someone asked about Blue Eye Samurai. We are watching it. Uh, we needed to borrow someone whose name is not being named. Netflix <laughs> Thank you, Rad. <laughs> You're welcome. We nice profile my parents pick. And they kicked us off, so. Oh, no, yeah, I, I, yeah, added a profile for, I added a profile of myself on Red's Netflix account. It's blue in all caps, and I used a picture of Tails. <laughs> <laughs> it inspired me to actually set my profile pick for the first time, so everyone can all hail Shadow. Um, well, because you wanted to do Sonic, and then I'm like... Sonic is blue. And we're like, it's funny if you're... It would be funnier Tails. Tails. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, they were like, I, obviously I got the alert, like, someone's using your Netflix. I was like, I know. And they were like, okay, well, yeah. just a reminder, you can only share your Netflix with people in your household. And I was like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard of found family before Netflix? <laughs> anyway. We have a family account on YouTube Premium that yeah. is just... Blue's YouTube account, can Red's confirm account. we are a household. <laughs> yeah, Blue's account, Red's account, my account. The OSP account and Indigo, maybe? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We do a lot of file transfer. <laughs> it's very <laughs> useful. <laughs> but yeah, I've watched all of Blue Eye Samurai and it slaps. I'm excited for the uh, continuation, I hope. Yeah. I don't know if they confirmed a second season, but I hope they did. No, they did. They did. Oh, good. It got announced very shortly after the end of the first season. Or I guess the the airing of the first season. Right. Through that, Kyle. Also, like, bold of Netflix to try to tell, like, Red, oh, only one household. This is the person who wrote an entire comic about found family. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Netflix doesn't know who I am. Blue, if you were going to do a World War II video, I think you've said before, but there's a, oh. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of people who make that kind of content already. There is too much World War II on the platform. <laughs> I will not be adding to it. Be the change you want to see in the world. Just say I no made... to more World War II. Yeah, I made a video about the aftermath of World War II and the lead up to the Cold War and decolonization, which I think is much more historically interesting than World War II itself. I may at some point make a video on the aftermath of World War I and some of the lead up to World War II because I like the, uh, like the culture and the geopolitics of what's going on. Um, with like all the independence movements in Eastern Europe and the fall of the Austrian and Russian empires and what happens with that. Um, the like tentative movements uh, in Britain and France where all the colonies are like, hey, we supported this huge war effort. Are you gonna like give us any rights? And they're like, come back after we do another one of these and we'll talk uh, like that whole geopolitics situation i i find more interesting than the actual shooty shooty stab stab of world wars one and two because again there's there's just so much of it on the platform it's like babies first 
historical content to make. Okay. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I want to talk about history. It's the thing. I don't want to, you know, like, okay. He said just like shit talking an entire like category of people who make art on the platform. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it that way. It frustrates me that there is so much World War II stuff and World War One stuff, but really it's most emblematic with World War II that just hits the same points every time. There's so much in that conflict to talk about, and people find ways to talk about the same shit over and over. The one channel that talked about World War II stuff that I really liked um, was uh, Potential History, who still who still makes videos. Um, but I I enjoyed the way he talked about it more because he talked about a lot of the uh, engineering considerations, the social and cultural considerations. Um, that are beyond like oh what's happening on the front lines it's just it was it was a method of thinking about it that i respected and i found was lacking in a lot of other stuff that i had seen on youtube and even then that's that's one creator whose stuff i like that's not a, a lot of volume of world war ii stuff that i'm really consuming it's you know a couple dozen videos that i really enjoyed but um overall there's there's so much that could be spoken about like for instance when have any of the most popular World War II channels talked about, like, the, the social movements going on back home in the various countries? Like, it, it's just, there's so much stuff that's just not getting coverage. <laughs> so it's like, if you're going to talk about World War II, don't, don't do the most obvious choice, guys. So I, uh, and that's what I like to do with my videos, is to show some of those, those less, like, front lines -y kind of things. Like, there's two battles I talk about in my Rome series, and then the rest of them I'm like, oh, actually, I find that boring. I'm not doing mm -hmm. that. So I just don't talk about battles anymore for the rest of that that whole thing. So, uh. Not uh, to say there aren't people who, who don't do it well. There are a lot of people who do it well. Yeah. I just don't have patience for it. So to We're get out of a slightly that. spicy topic, um, it's 4K. Time to go fight a King Gliok. Yay! Yay. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'm going to get the shrine first, and then we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll head off. Um, thank you, Katharina, for your donation. Very yes, much thank you. So, question. Do we want to do a surface King Gliok, which will probably require a flying machine, or do we want to do the Depths King Gliok? Um... Depths. Depths. Cool. Let's <laughs> we do it. We haven't really done much depths in this... <laughs> Except for that one time where we just went in the depths and stayed there the whole time. Let's see. Um, I meant in this specific stream. Right, yes. <laughs> I've already gotten... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can do that. People keep saying to get a lot of key size. Yeah. That's a good point. Let me see how many we got. Uh... There's a couple people who are making oh, various hard mode mods for Tears of the Kingdom, one of whom made, um, I don't know if it was Waiku Teru's version of, of uh, Master Mode, um, but they changed the King Gliok fight, so if you use key swings or key eyeballs, um, it doesn't auto-target their heads, it auto-targets their torso, which does basically no damage. It's fucking brutal. And all arrows have damage reduction against Gliok's in this mod. It's wow. It's so trolly. But like at that really point, fun. like what's even the point? You know, you're just making them spongier. Gotta go to melee range. <laughs> oh, I guess. Or really, throw weapons is the is the intended strategy. Oh, I see. Okay. Also, I'm um, just looking at the donation count. You could be the person that donates six dollars and gets us to the funny number. <laughs> it could be you, or the you. Is yours. What about you, random citizen? Man, I should spend more time on the Sky Islands. This place rules. Getting the crystal from point oh, A to point B. Sorry, Katarina. Oh, <laughs> what happened? Uh, we strive. Uh, future reference, not that you actually need it again, but that's see it. Oh, got it. Got it. Sorry, we do our best to pronounce your names correctly. I Apologies appreciate if, you letting me know. Yeah. Apologies if we get it wrong. Thank you for letting us know. Hmm, I wonder if this fight has a way that you're intended to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't tell. Yay, oh. thank Yay. you. You're briefly the funny number, and then someone else donated, but that's okay. <laughs> Appreciate your Doctors Without Borders donations, Anonymous. For a shining oh, moment with the funny number. Hey, let's go. Thank you to everyone donating $6. Uh, thank really you, appreciate it. Uh, that didn't seem to do much more. Come 
on, lads. Haha, -ha, we did it. $69? Yes, and it was funny. Hell yeah. Okay. Now I'm just going to assume we got to bounce that crystal. I have that or we want to long bridge the crystal, but I think we're going to bounce that crystal. Bounce that boy! We're going to bounce this boy! Uh, Let's bring it over there. See if that works. Nope. There we go. New Year's in India? We're getting there. Ooh. Oh yeah, because India is thirty minutes offset. That's right. Oh yeah. Huh. Happy New Year's to whoever's New Year's it is right now. <laughs> then thirty minutes. Happy New Year's to you, India. Okay. Okay. Also, thank you, Dead Card and Bearworks. Appreciate you. Thank you both. Link's left and that needs to pick up the slack. <laughs> <laughs> Just a Robin Hood. You know, I was just thinking about the Lynx Left Nut meme from what three years ago now. Something like that. So that was that was 2020. Damn. Woo. Old year to everyone. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, let's go. I think at the time when we were doing those streams, we had not no because we hit one million in. Uh, late 2019, September. Yeah, we'd had one million for a little while. Two million was still a ways off. Um, to the people asking, what the heck? You had to be there. Link's left nut, man. You had, yeah, yeah, you had to be there. You really saved Although the day. Although I think that made it into a... Into yeah, it was in the video. Cut. Yeah. It was in the super cut. 4 a.m. in Northeast Australia. Then what are you doing here? Nah, I respect oh, it. <laughs> and take a nap. Okay, there we go. All right, and then King Leoc time. Heard of the Apothecary Diaries. I'll look it up. Man, I'm just getting really mad about World War II. <laughs> <laughs> Dial it back, man. Think of, think of nice things. <laughs> Rome, yeah, the no, Byzantines. No, no, no. no, no it's, it's fine. Think it's fine. Alcibiades. Yeah. Such an old meme. Such a good meme. It's just so easy to be so lazy about it. And mm. then I'm done. I'm done. Everyone That's should it. watch the H. Wommer got plagiarism on YouTube video for more thoughts on lazy creativeness. <laughs> have we heard of Epic the Musical? Yes, we have. Yes, we yeah, have. All well, the songs are in my playlist. I still don't get why it's called Epic the Musical. Uh, Epic the uh, Epic the Musical. You got it's, it. <laughs> it's it's an album. What am I missing? It's an album. <laughs> well, a lot of musicals start as albums. There are like concept I mean, albums for like um, Count of Monte Cristo, Death Note. I think there is also a Death Note musical that's actually on stage. Listen, if you don't have trouble with Panic at the Disco and <laughs> My Chemical Romance song titles, yeah, then I guess. it can be called <laughs> Epic the Musical. Fair enough. Carthage. Yes, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> we do think about Carthage. So much so that one time you did an April Fool's video that <laughs> involved us salting a piece of fish until it was inedible. That was very funny. Uh, Red, you have watched Quentin Reviews' latest video. I have, yes. The full, uh, nine and a half hour saga. It's good. People should watch it. Oh, the creator wants Epic to become a stage musical. Got oh, it. That okay, sense. getting ahead of it. Okay, fine, Ladies fine. Tone, fair enough, fair enough. I think it was a concept album. You're correct. Austin Wintry did better. Austin Wintry does a lot of things better. Mm -hmm. Better than what in this case? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but he's an amazing guy. We love his music. <laughs> Apothecary Diaries is extreme OSP core. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, yeah, that, I, that I theoretically mean a lot of things. know what it means. <laughs> but what is OSP core? Just like I... crazy myth people and historical <laughs> stuff? Like ADHD? I don't know. Beetlejuice the Musical is also really good. Flashing That's light warning good. in advance. <laughs> Austin Wintry was in your top five Spotify wrapped. Good for you. Good. Our, our, my <laughs> top <laughs> listen to uh, artist was The Longest Johns this year, followed by, um, oh God, wait, what was the second one? Uh, the Amazing Devil. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, that's new. That's, um, who's the, it's Joey Beatty from uh, The Witcher, Yaskier, and I don't know the name. One of it. his friends who does okay. Shakespeare with him, I'll, I'll pull them up. Right, yeah. 
I was um Austin Wintry was my my top listened uh and I think I was like in top five percent or, or something of, of Austin Wintry listeners and I only got my own Spotify account in August. <laughs> Granted I was playing a lot of music from uh from Stray Gods. So I got my, my hours in. <laughs> Uh, oh, well, her name is uh, Madeline Highland. Yes, thank you. I'm really bad with names. OSP Core is talking about history, folklore, and mythology without the academia. I'm smarter than you pretends and more like chatting with friends, telling fun stories over tea. Huh. Yeah. It's a generous read. I appreciate that. I can that. respect that. <laughs> the Longest Johns are awesome. Uh, we miss them. Uh, in concert when they came to the U.S. last time because uh, of a friend's wedding, which is a good reason to miss a concert. Mm. We're not going to make that mistake. But we're not making that mistake again. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And I think it's right about when I graduate, theoretically, if yeah. I graduate. Yeah. I passed this semester. Now we just got to pass the last one. <laughs> one more. One more. We got this. <laughs> Those PCORs being able to describe characters from myths in history so old most people don't know them using modern slang. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. All right. Um, I think it. someone said the higher the degree, the harder it is to get a job. That can be a problem, but it really depends on the industry. Um, so, like, for example, I the job I was at previously, in order to hold certain positions, you needed to either have a bunch of users of experience or a higher degree. Um, a, a couple of the jobs I'm looking at now, because they're more specialized, you need to have either, again, a lot of experience or a higher degree. So I think it can be difficult, but not... It, it really depends on the industry. Um, I think in more academic disciplines, like, say, for example, English, it can be a little harder to find a position when you have the higher degree because they assume that you would need a more specialized position, which might be the case. Um, but again, it really depends. Jobs are weird. Minaru, but no, Minaru, Minaru. I was wondering if you'll ever do long sleeve merch, despite it being antithetical to the cost. We have uh, a we long have sleeve hoodies. merch. There are many, many hoodies. It took. I had to fucking fight for us to get short sleeve merch, <laughs> or rather, and no sleeve. We merch. are working on getting everything else. We in. have a funny number. We have a funny, have a number. funny number. Yay! Yay. Um, Red we're, did not go to art school. Uh, nope. We're working on getting uh, our other designs into tanks as well, but that's a process because there's like sixty designs on our merch store. <laughs> Also, to everyone asking how you guys were this year, uh, there will be a podcast about that coming soon. Death's Gliath looks really cool. I like the <laughs> red. A Wisp P3P suit. You could just get a navy and red suit. Like, get navy pants, a red jacket, and, like, an indigo top. And then you have a three-piece suit. You just invented, like, bisexual lighting suit from First Principles. That feels like something Lil Nas X would wear to one of the more boring functions he attends. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. I did go to math school, correct. <laughs> no, sorry. Right off the one dragon slaying school. Um, yes, I am from the East Coast. I pretty much lived up and down the northeast of the U.S. my entire life. What is bisexual lighting? Uh, blue, purple, red? Yes. It's like pink and purple and stuff. My own lapel pin. You can, you can get a blue lapel pin and put it on your OSP 3D suit. I would recommend a cat look coming in, actually. Because, again, yeah. I do not work for OSP. <laughs> <laughs> get him, Izzy. Y'all aren't ready for the pin strategy we have for next year. I'm so excited. Oh, man. I hope it goes well. Oh, yo, I'm like... Also, Where the fuck are its oh, heads? Oh, They're stuck in the wall! <laughs> Yo, Hank and I are friends. <laughs> this is some bullshit. That was John. John was the ethical unpaid intern. Yeah. 
there anyone on the OSP crew that lives outside the U.S.? Not no. at the moment, no. We have a lot of friends who live outside oh, the shit. U.S. Um, Hello Future, future me, me is in Europe. <laughs> yeah, well, he's in Europe right now. <laughs> Um, let's see, I'm trying to think. Who else? You have some, uh, friends you do history with who live on various parts of Europe and or Canada. So, yeah, but no, right now we all live in the U.S. Oh, I forgot about the dice set joke. That's really funny. Oh, I yeah. Maybe we missed the boat on that, but honestly, given how most of PAX this year was just people selling dice, I doubt it. I think most people had the same idea. <laughs> OSP does their taxes. I don't know. Yeah, we <laughs> we pay taxes. <laughs> you guys pay a lot of taxes. We We're do. very careful about how much we pay taxes. <laughs> Just, sorry, I don't. Oh, Nerdy Panda, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, Cleo see. doesn't pay taxes, though. Cleo is a tax evader. Cleo is a freeloader. Oh, wow. Cleo and Ziggy Pets would be pretty cute. The I option like to monetize little... your cat is available whenever you want it. We already monetized Cleo. She was $1,000 this time. One time she was 3000 Yes, but making her merch is a little bit of a different animal, I've been told. Yeah. I think she'd be fine with it as long as we give her chicken. I mean, yeah, you gotta pay the talent. Yeah, I mean, so that's how... We'll, we'll figure something out. <laughs> so just so you know, we did train Cleo very early on. To pose pretty for pictures, and the way we do it is I pulled a little treat in front of her face and moved around, and she'd like to pose. And now she just kind of does it, but we still have to like pay her, <laughs> so we don't need a treat to make her pose, and we can get a lot of pictures out of it. And then she'll be like, "All right, pay up." Yeah, your time. <laughs> Marking down. OSP core does not involve tax fraud. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Thank you, peaceful black belt. It's strange that three of you are variations on the color blue. I mean. It's almost intentional. <laughs> did you play God of War Ragnarok like this? Uh, you did play... We played God of War 2018 on our channel. The videos are unlisted because they're, they're old, but you can find them in our live streams playlist. And we joined on with uh, Adam Ludo History. What the fuck? Um, Shit. last year for a stream. It was fun. But no, I'm not going to play God of War Ragnarok on, on stream at OSP. It's it's a long game. I, I don't have that patience. <laughs> Stop fusing like, shit to my bow! <laughs> I like when we played... Um, Pokemon? Yeah, Pokemon was fun. I would play Pokemon again. Um, but God, when we played the PS5 intro game. Uh, Astro's Playroom? Astro's Playroom. Yeah. That was fun. Uh, Hatora Tomoen says, I think being the only color that is not blue is a very bad voice of the stream energy for red. Thanks. <laughs> you know, someone's got to stand up for the other colors. Okay, here we go. He is probably not going to be playing in Ezla. <laughs> no. Although, one of my friends has been trying to persuade me to do a uh, knowing absolutely fuck all about Pokemon Nuzlocke run. Play that with you. My cunning scheme worked. Getting the other two heads out of the way meant the much more annoying breath weapons were gone. Okay. Um, the first time Blue played Pokemon with me, he's like, I thought those were- I thought rock was weak to that. I'm like, oh, yes, but that's ground. He's like, why is there a rock and a ground? I'm like, oh, honey. Bold words for Bionicle fan. <laughs> I should have known. I should have known. Okay, your head's closer, Friday bitch. Too. Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Check us out on Friday! In place of uh, regular videos for the first two weeks, so as to allow us to have actually taken some time off uh, uh -huh. for the holidays, uh, we don't have videos the next two Fridays. We're doing um, Spider-Man 2 streams. It'll be fun. It'll be very fun. <laughs> oh god, it's high up. Oh, oh this look sounds you. awful. Do it immediately. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. My stamps. What time on Friday? Uh, usual time. 11-ish. Uh, it's, uh, what is that? 8 a.m. PST, 11 a.m. Central, like, or 11 a.m. Eastern Central. and Central. Oh! 
<laughs> Did you see out. that shit? <laughs> yeah. Nice. <gasps> OSP doesn't have a yellow. Um, That's canonically, Adam, Adam is yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I took the fall damage, but then so did he. <laughs> Alright, give me all the bits. Aw, they're supposed to give me guts. Oh, there they are. No gifts for you. So, uh, since we're not at 5,000 yet, I think you can actually resume. <laughs> Whew! <laughs> Thank Canada. goodness. <laughs> you can actually go try to play Ganon now. <laughs> that might be the move. What colors haven't been used in OSP color coding? Nothing. So many colors. Hey! Many colors? Do we have the full Twilight outfit now? Nice. Oh, we should probably do some great fairy stuff just a little bit. Oh, we're so okay. broke. You know, you can uh, get set bonuses if you upgrade oh. a full set of armor to level two or higher. Oh, that's so crazy. Hey, watch me yeah. cosplay a guy who cares about it. Whoa, tell me more <laughs> about set bonuses. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. Uh, is there an orange? Canonically, yes, but we have renamed him green temporarily. Also, Feeding America, I think, was canonically one of the oranges. Oh, yeah, yeah nice. Feeding America is orange, too. Uh -huh. Does okay. OSP have a beige? Probably. No. <laughs> Do we have a green? <laughs> Do we have a green? Ha. Okay, let's see. Let's go uh, sell some shit, and then let's go great ferry it up a little bit. What does Talus tipping? Ooh. Mm. You can do that for 5000 No, it's just oh, a good idea to have black. money when you go to a great ferry, so Talus tipping is smart. We do not uh, support... <laughs> what? what are... Talus tipping? No, someone said OSP Vanta Black. Oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, we that fucking guy. We do not support <laughs> Mr. Bean. <laughs> Yeah. Hold on, I have a good idea. Um, we I do, marked however, in... support yeah. the pink is pink. Oh, it's a yeah. little far away from everything. Ah, we can just fly down from Dragonhead Isle, or we can run over from here. Okay. We are the OSP rainbow. Or the crayon box, depending yeah. on your preference. You have a red, but do you have a blue? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sources vary. The historical record is pretty sparse about this part of the. <laughs> Clearly, we need an OSP puce. Absolutely not. I hate that one. <laughs> puce. There we go. All right. Let's tip some taluses. Then let's sell that shit. Then let's great ferry it up. Is red. OSP Sapphire is blue. OSP Emerald is all the greens. Ah, this is a Pokemon, isn't it? I can see. <laughs> it is a Pokemon. <laughs> Whoa, excuse me, sir. I just wanted the tomates. Okay. For like five minutes, there was an OSP Brown, but he got looped back into greens once we came up with like the concept of greens are my roommates because. The gentleman was my roommate, so uh -huh. <laughs> there is no OSP Brown. And there is, he's he's a green. Dream is primary green. I mean, Austin's the green we reference the most from Rolling with Difficulty. Yeah. Now that he's like on Rolling with Difficulty, he's less green and more just Austin. Because like Austin <laughs> stepped out of greenitude, Noir stepped out of greenitude. Uh, the rest of the greens are still in the green umbrella. The I forest across from that. Riverside is a good place for a lot of tomatoes. That's good. Uh, let's put on my good armor. It is my favorite color. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Where's our good whacking stick? There. Nope, nope, this one. Perfect. How many greens are there? Like seven? Nor was a green. Nor was a green. Oh boy, Blue I hope nothing ambushes there. me today. Oh, oh what? Because basically our entire, like, like me, Cyan, Indigo, uh, Austin, Noir, and like the rest of our fencing gang, um, who we would talk about in stories and we needed to like reference them without just like casually outing everybody's names. Um, it was like, ah, green. So basically all of our fencing friends are the greens unless otherwise specified. <laughs> The crayon box has complex lore. Whoop! 
basically, if you know them and you don't know a color of them, they're green. Yeah. Except for my sisters who are A, B, and C. They, they're outside the color theory because they don't actually watch OSP. <laughs> no. <laughs> As is their prerogative. They keep telling me that I should get a TikTok. They really want. Please we are not TikTok. going to get a TikTok. You said that about Instagram. <laughs> yeah, uh, but then I wanted to post cat pictures, and I didn't like Twitter, and that fulfilled a need. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me being ahead of the curve on that. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing you got for Christmas? Oh, I got so many cool things for Christmas, but my parents bought me a circular <laughs> saw. Oh, no. What? They got her a circular saw. I asked for one and they got it for me. It was great. Because <laughs> we had like a mini one that was like four inches. And oh it yeah. Does, like nothing. Um, Armando Torres from from Rooster Teeth chose brown in oh, episode. Yeah. He, he said, "Look me in the eye and call me brown." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so fucking there is funny. technically an OSP brown. It is Armando. But we're not gonna fucking He's call him. his hand on the table. Said, "Look me in the eye." God, that's the funniest episode of the podcast we will ever have. Yeah. <laughs> Truly one also, of the most yeah, effortlessly have... funny human beings we've ever met. Yeah. I actually have many weapons and many instruments. I am basically a D&D &D character. Jenny Nicholson claimed OSP Golden Rod. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> but we've yet to, to follow up on that. <laughs> you a carpenter or something? What I want to be. I was working on building a loom, and it was really hard because we... We don't have many tools. Um, we now have space for tools in the basement. However, we just still have the amount of tools we had in an apartment, which is more than you would expect, but still not that many. Yeah. Oh yeah, Hello Future Me claimed sad gray that one time. Uh... Daniel, I don't know if you're still here, uh, <laughs> but I feel like Daniel Green can be primary green. <laughs> sure. Fancy green. You never lived together, but it still counts. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's 26. We're almost back up. Delia, I think having a spinning wheel is pretty freaking cool. Um, and turns out no one can stop you from having a loom if you build it yourself out of <laughs> one by ones. <laughs> Dimensional Lumber is your friend. Huh. Those are good. They are good. Yeah. Sound like shit. Buy my shit. Buy my shit. Mm. Daniel is the green who insisted Hello Future Me is sad gray. Uh, Meg, that tracks. That tracks. Um, Tim from Hello Future Me actually introduced us to Daniel mm -hmm. long ago. Mm -hmm. So. <laughs> Someone stopped yeah, so you from having diamonds. a loom. Oh! I mean, Blue can't stop me because I do it when he's not here. Yeah. He, he leaves and comes back and there's always like some random, <laughs> random project. He's like, <laughs> he's like, Syed, what? <laughs> I'm like, shit, not. It's like, why are there dowels? I'm like, it's fine. <laughs> uh? I have one idea of something I want to see if they have in, Dr in Gerudo Town for me. Blue, red, green, sad gray. Long ago, the four nations live in harmony. Thank you, Katarina. <laughs> um, also, I am such an ultimate green, you guys are right, that uh, I have superseded greenness and become cyan. So when you mix a little blue, a little green. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, in Breath of the Wild, there was a diamond circlet hidden under one of the labyrinths. I don't think it's still there. Actually, I should check. I should check before I buy one. Oh, we've got a barrage. God, there are so many dragons we've seen this stream. I think we've seen all of them, just accidentally. It's crazy how that happens. <laughs> anyway. Looking to see if the thing's still there. And do it again. I mean, I do know something that's down there, but that's a surprise tool that'll hurt me later. I 
IGN doesn't seem to have it listed as being something you could just find anymore. Everything did change when Cleo attacked. <laughs> yeah, the Dragon Rush gods are making fun of me in particular. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh? The Danish queen just announced her abdica abdication on January 14th. Wow. Weird. Interesting. That ah, means ah, it's happening. who we saw on the parade for his birthday is going to be king. Nice. We were in Denmark, and we we got to the square, and everyone was just standing, like, waiting for something, and there were a lot of police officers, so we just kind of, like, sat on a fountain. Like, hey, what's happening? And they're like, oh, it's the Crown Prince's, like, birthday party parade. And we're like, oh, neat. Mm. <laughs> so we just watched that. In, if you watch back to my uh, Blue Visits Denmark video, you will see the moment where the Prince of Denmark passed right by us. And we were like, oh, neat. It was also fun because there were there was like a news crew looking to like interview someone. And like us and everyone else sitting near us were just like tourists. Yeah. <laughs> and we're like, sorry, like we're not, we can't help you here. <laughs> Diana Blue talking about monarchies and red scrambling for her life. Whoever is playing during a stream is always scrambling. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of just the way streaming works. That's just how I do. Hello? You have a side quest? One of the few remaining European monarchies? Yep. Uh, Lutheran Northern Europe loves their monarchies. <laughs> and also Spain. And also Spain. <laughs> The only country that's like not on the Baltic <laughs> that has a king. Who? And England, but you know. What was the thing you were reading where it where it called it um uh, European Brazilian? Oh no, this was a uh, uh, Chiron Zhe Zhao was making a, a meme about how they titled the Portuguese uh, version of their book European Brazilian. And a bunch of Portuguese people got really angry. <laughs> mm. uh, so I think if we hit 5k, I'm going to go fight the Mulduga I need to fight to rescue the owner. Sure. <laughs> okay. And if we don't, we're going to fight Ganon. Yeah. So if you want the stream to go on longer. Oh, God, it's so help expensive. Help the doctors. Help the borders. Help the <laughs> Okay. For all you know, I could be playing the Ocarina right now. <laughs> oh, that's right. Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg, and Liechtenstein. I forgot about Benelux. it. Yeah. I, little Liechtenstein. I, I keep forgetting about it, but I, may, I, I did that little You know what? Maybe she'll give me a discount if I rescue her. So we're just going to rescue her anyway, and we'll do something else for 5K. Okay. Taruma Dunes, they said. So that's like here ish. Oh, great. We already have a shrine here. We'll just. Bring her uh, does make it cheaper. Thank you to Anonymous for donating $5. If each of you donated $5 right now, we should have to do some shit. <laughs> what should oh, we do for 5 Thank you for Anonymous donating $5. Yay. I thought you were going to go fight the Mulduga. Well, yeah, but I've decided to do that anyway because I think that that oh, might okay. give us a discount on the circlet. Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Andorra has a prince. Oh. Monaco has a prince. I forgot about the Pope. That's just <laughs> embarrassing for me. <laughs> um, Red, you had promised guitar for 5k. Oh god. Okay, sure. I'll pull out my shitty ukulele. <laughs> Fantastic. We can, we can play Twinkle Twinkle together. I don't think I know Twinkle Twinkle on the guitar, although I'm sure I could figure it out. Uh, 0077557, if you just do it on the top string. Ah. Alright. Uh, uh, Liza donated five dollars. Anonymous with twenty. Anonymous with five. Uh, MG not the Marvel one with five. Anonymous with five. Thank you guys. This is what I mean. If you all donate five dollars, we'll, we'll hear the we'll hear the guitar. Yeah, Blue Pope fights uh, Cerulean. Did forget about yeah. the Pope. Since Cyrieu, because I forgot he's like a king. Because it's an elective theocratic monarchy, but I forgot the monarchy part of that. <laughs> That came up, uh, what was it, like a few months back where the Pope made some yeah. decision that people got really fussy about? And they were like, the, the, the Pope makes a tyrannical display of absolute power. And it was like, that's, he's the Pope. That's kind of like how it works. Get rid of a bishop or something. There was, uh, Shit. there was either like a bishop or a cardinal oh, in, in Texas. Texas. Who 
were like saying some shit and the Pope was like, stop that. And they were like, what are you going to do about it, he was bitch? Like, he was like, and I'm going to tell you you're not in power anymore. This is my job. Which like, they're... There are a lot of times in history where people have, you know, in the Catholic Church have been like, oh, you know, I disagree with what the Pope has done. It's like, okay, that's that's kind of par for the Whoa! course. That's part of the game. But oh, for these, me. these Catholics down in Texas who are like, the Pope is a dictator. Who's a, It's like, that's the point. Jesus gave the man the keys and said, you're in charge. <laughs> you don't get to just suddenly decide you don't like the office of the papacy when they disagree with you. I mean, you can if you're Martin Luther. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's a different... You, at that point, you're not Catholic. You're you're Protestant who likes Baroque. <laughs> that's not my joke. That's not my joke. Yeah. Also, thank you to everyone donating $5 and the Epicurean Bard who donated $6 just to spite me. Beautiful. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if that's why, but I do appreciate it. <laughs> the Pope acts like he's infallible. Oh, wait. <laughs> Let's know, Fritz. No, I appreciate that. Uh, if you can't afford to donate, please don't donate. We really appreciate everyone who does donate. The doctors really appreciate it. Maybe they'll get some borders. But <laughs> if you can, holiday times are hard. End of year times are hard. It's okay. We understand. Pope fights round four. Someone donate four dollars. Oh yeah, we're so close, guys. Make the funny number. All right. We did it. I like watching the chat to see if someone donates four dollars to make the funny number. Let's get all no, the No, that's five. No, I appreciate your five dollar donation, but unfortunately, no. you were too generous. <laughs> Uh, thank you, John, for your one euro donation. And Icebox, thank you for your four dollar donation. The funny number will live on in our hearts. We'll, we'll have another opportunity. In the ninety five dollar? Nope, ninety three dollars from now. Uh. Oh, thank you, everyone donating four dollars. We tried so hard. We flew too close to the sun. What well, you so gotta hard. do is you just gotta so wait far. for a quiet moment and then do the math to get it there. Uh, That's not this, a uh, Sorry, I wasn't actually you. paying attention that much. It's pound. Uh, my applesauce. <laughs> With an entrapta profile picture. That's fun. Hell yeah. <laughs> nice. Spicy. <sighs> thank you, Anonymous, for your five dollar donation. This is what I mean. We're actually getting up there. We're at like 4,300. 4, hey guys. The Save. $5 donations add up, my friends. Do it for the guitar. Evening, ladies. Oh, we are at the. Oh, well, we were just at the less funny number of 96. Uh, Annabella Q, uh, Aaron Igniel Cheshire. Thank you all so much for your donations. We really do appreciate it. We're over 5,300. I don't know what you guys were expecting going into this, but seeing as we didn't have a 1,000 goal, I was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I really do appreciate everyone's it's not generosity when it comes. At all. <laughs> hey, let's talk. Whatever that thing you were going to ask. I Thank think she can. makes us weapons, but. Ugh. I want to push you around, and I will. <laughs> <laughs> The goal should be to get to 6.9k. That would be impressive. I would be impressed. I'm often impressed, but I'd be more impressed. Four diamonds? 96. But I think I need my diamonds. <laughs> 96 is just like the non-cuddly number. Okay, I'll deal with that later. 99 is the cuddle number. Please buy oh, my shit. Yeah. All right, we need so much money for the diamond circlet gather in the materials you'll get a fun thing i know it's cool but like thank you everyone for your donations uh, thank you plant lover thank you ian anonymous as well okay i don't want to sell diamonds 96 is the, the button and no diamonds can upgrade the thing. 96 is like when you're at camp and they tell you you have to sleep head to toe so you don't spread like lice or whatever hmm well, well, we nice could make Lionel Gut elixirs, number. but we could also sell them for a pretty good amount of money. <laughs> I don't know. Ugh. Everyone, we must conspire for the ultimate funny number, sixty-nine four twenty. Yeah, that's the spirit. Yeah, 
I mean, you we have can the sell. money. Well, you can donate $69.42. Yeah. Thank you, Greg the Egg. Greg the Egg! Greg Eggman! The egg. <laughs> it's worth it for the drip? Yep. <laughs> Stream's going pretty well. <laughs> I'm Grace glad. Still has pretty little pain here. Okay. Thank you, Scott Banning. Red, are you having fun? I'm having fun, yeah. Good, good, good. It's just, you, you know, go... clawing my way up to 2400 so I can get my uh, my diamond circlet. And then I'll still need more money so that I can upgrade it. What I need chat to do is tell me where to find more taluses. You'll get more if you sell them in elixirs. Huh. Huh. You prefer military sans frontiers? That's armies without borders? <laughs> Hold yeah, on there. You can, you can sell Hold on there, buddy. <laughs> this is so wild. It never occurred to me. I think you meant to say medicine. Song I don't here. think they did. <laughs> so I could also sell my awful, awful flame breaker armor because I hate how it looks. Oh, it's it's, it's from Metal, Metal Gear. Gear. God fucking damn it. <laughs> of course it's from Metal Gear. What are we talking about? They someone said I prefer military sans frontiers, and I said, Do you mean medicine sans frontiers? Oh. And there, Greg was like, No. Yeah, no, that that's some Metal Gear shit right there. Yeah, Thank so Blue looked it up. <laughs> Anonymous with five. <sighs> okay, Armies chat needs to tell me where no. more taluses are, and then <laughs> then we'll we'll get down to business. Okay. Bad Emery. <laughs> oh. Nerdy Bad Panda. Michael. That's called invasion. <laughs> gimme, 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 gimme. The, Ooh, attack up. I think I remember that the uh, the Greek word mystios for mercenary is essentially wage earner, as in like you fight to earn a wage as opposed to fighting for your polis. Perfect. We've got the the original fit back. Right, oh, let's... yeah, if you sell outfits, sell the dark ones because you can buy them back with pose. Oh, know? that's genius. We can finally found a, we finally found a way to convert the souls of the dead into quick and easy cash. Uh, mm. Apparently near the scimitar geoglyph, there's a talus. Perfect. What have you missed, Crouch Potato? Sacrilege. <laughs> Just a little bit. For flavor. Eggman is a feminist. This is good to know. Oh. Also, Andrea just dropped Talus coordinates for you. Nice. Ooh. Minus 3387. And there's a rare Talus at the end of Tangar Canyon. Canyon. Oh, I love Tangar Canyon. Which end? Probably not the one that has the Forgotten Temple in it. Probably the other end. Okay. More, more uh, coordinates. Thank you, chat. We really appreciate your help. Yeah. Oh, wow. We're at 4444. Four, four, four. Holy crap. Whoa. Hey. Oh, what Anonymous was that? 520. That was me clapping. Sir. Oh, it's a well. I don't think I've ever taken a photo of a well yet. Yeah, okay. That frustrated me. Oh, yeah. I remember that. <laughs> it would be quicker to just Google for a map for the talus. I misread that as it would be quicker to Google Maps the Talus, and I'm like, I mean... <laughs> Take a picture of the... I wonder if anyone's looked at the conversion rate of Poe items when sold and figured out the value of a life. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. For what could equal the value of a human soul? <laughs> Second time I've had to say your name. <laughs> well, no, but also here's the thing. That's only the resale value of a life. Blue, because... no! <laughs> Where's that talus supposed to be hiding? Is it, like, on the knife? Because you know a soul loses 20% of its value once you drive it off the lot. Blue. Well... <laughs> <laughs> you guys really need to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take a picture of the talus and then set it as your search for your locator. Oh, I would love to take a photo of the talus if I could find it. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Turner. I'll give you five dollars and a stick of gum for a human soul. You know, I've had worse offers. They offered us a stick of gum. We do like <laughs> sticks like of gum here. 
facial surgery is great for. Uh, it's many... in the cove nearby, says two different people. Hmm. Dental surgery is great for um, helping break a gum addiction habit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Trade pose with four rupees per po ratio by buying a dark tunic from the Bargear statue for 150 po and selling it for 600. <laughs> Yeah, I think 44 cents is too small a number to donate. Don't worry, guys. It's, it's good. But fun size blondie is correct. $25 to another 6 and 9. <laughs> Can you get a mint condi condition soul? Yes, they're called infants. Yes. Um. <laughs> also, thank you, Emily Dickens. Mr. Krabs sold Spongebob for 62 cents. Oh, I feel yeah. like I remember that. But does the value of a sponge soul equal the... Ooh, hello. What's this? Wait, Figure I out I the value of a rupee? I don't know. Matt Pat's figured out a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Pat knows some shit because Matt Pat's seen some shit. Such as Assassin's <laughs> Creed takes place on Jupiter? Sure. Ugh. It's fine. Oh. It's fine. It would be cool if a soul was worth 42. Can you this is a puzzle we don't have yet, isn't it? This is, this is one of those weird things. All right, whatever. There's a talus on Spectacle Rock. See, that's the kind of actionable information I like to hear. No, wait <laughs> oh, no, a minute. You overshot the funny number by 10. It's okay. I believe in you guys. Okay, so we'll is the talus on Spectacle Rock near the Gleok on Spectacle Rock? That would rock. That would be pretty fun. Okay, they said there was a cove with a talus in it. Maybe right there. Uh, I'm, the cave is under a cove. Hold on, let me, let me look at a map. Let me look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. give me a map. Like actual. There was a top dot on top. Hold of... on, hold on. There was a dot on top right of that door. Yeah, it was a little arrow pointing towards it. I've seen them around the map. It's not something you can interact with. Basically, there's like a riddle to unlock that, but I don't have the quest for it, so I don't know what the Wait, riddle uh, is. Red, can you pull up your minimap? Yeah. Now give us a second to see your minimap. No worries. <laughs> oh wow, that's a that's a pretty hefty delay. We might have to, like, uh, exit and restart. Uh, okay. So, you see that little, uh, if you follow along, like, on your, your right from, from Link's face, there's, and there's the that lake. little nook. There's a little nook under the lake. Uh-huh. In there. Cool. Apparently that's the cove. Certainly cove-like. Sell your soul to Satan for a single corn chip. Oh, wow, look at this. Hold on, we've got Ouch. more donations. <laughs> uh, we've got from uh, Eowyn, Igniel Cheshire, Anonymous, uh, Infinity's Dice, and Nick Malachi. $69, nice. I really appreciate all of you who are donating. I also appreciate all of you who have donated more than once. Like, we see you. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, and you know who else appreciates you? The boarders. I mean, the doctors. <laughs> the Talos and Spectacle Rock is surrounded by the mud puddle. Ah, yeah, we can deal with that. Uh... We're getting old. <laughs> what? Oh, Blue stood up and, like... Oh, yeah, she's... <laughs> Blue stood up and was like, ah, my knees. I'm like, yeah, we're getting old. Ah, uh, I see. To be fair, with Ellie's Danless Syndrome, I crackle every time I stand, and I, ha I basically have been since I was a child. Mm -hmm. So, You can't sell a soul on eBay. That is true. eBay does not support human trafficking or soul trafficking. eBay also doesn't sell you, uh, support you selling things that don't exist, which basically covers all of their bases. They don't need to make any statements about- Fucking quit it, bro. Okay, we're good. People lose their bending at 30. Uh, I have stretchy joints, so this will probably not be a problem. Also, my parents just continuously argue which one of them I got this from. <laughs> uh, my dad's like, well, you know, your mom's family has, like, the skin fragility and stuff like that, and my- 
mom is like, your dad can still touch his toes at 50, uh, 57. I'm like, you know what? She's got a point. Mm. <laughs> She's got a point. <laughs> Are we donating the border to the doctors? Well, see, basically what we're doing is we're raising money so that the doctors have the choice if they want borders or no borders. Mm -hmm. um, also, thank you to Anonymous for your $20 donation. Woo. Appreciate it. We're three dollars away from the less funny number. Ah, uh, we'll get there. Oh, and uh, Garum three fifty two. Thank you for your twenty dollar donation. We're at we're over four thousand six hundred now. Dang! So you might actually have to get out that guitar. <laughs> oh God! Uh, Spectacle Rock. Um. Oh yeah, I see it. We can get in there. And then we're gonna right, sell these off. You take a picture of the talus. Oh, <laughs> you know, I knew I was forgetting something. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, go. I think it's right there. Yeah, I can see it on the map. I got it. Oh wow, cool. that peninsula does not look PG. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, Omega site. I have several rare conditions. I post about them usually uh, during EDS Awareness Month, so you can always check out my Instagram for some information on those. Uh, but yeah, the funny thing about rare diseases is as we get more of the internet and people actually communicating with each other, some of them, turns out, are less rare than we thought. Mm -hmm. Which is really cool, in my opinion, to like see that things we previously thought were really rare or uncommon are starting to get more commonly diagnosed. So that means it's... that people are actually getting tests for these things that they have, which is awesome. Yeah, it's especially, it's good because of course a lot of these, you know, rare conditions just don't don't get checked for and thus don't get diagnosed to the people for whom it is the thing that is wrong and needs to be treated um i have heard that one semi-common side effect of long COVID has actually been mast cell activation syndrome which means that a lot of doctors that didn't know about it before now know about it which is something and uh, something pots uh, orthostatic tachycardia or other forms of dysautonomia are really common symptoms of long COVID. right nice good star catch <laughs> Thank you. But yeah. It, I think it's also just really good to have this like communication about rare diseases because the more people talk about them, the more likely doctors are take a picture to Oh yeah. Uh, In a minute. Really test for them. There was a friend of friend of the family, uh, whose sister C's age who also has EDS and I was lucky enough to be living in a city at the time that I was diagnosed. She still lived in our hometown and had a lot more trouble getting treatment. Her mom and my mom ended up actually, like, game planning together. My mom would be like, what are you doing for this? I'm like, I do this and this. And she'd be like, okay, friend, you should go see a doctor to see if you can do this and this. And it was, mm -hmm. you know, it was good. It's good to know other people with these conditions because you can, like, ask for advice and everyone's different. But it's it's still helpful. <laughs> it's yeah. helpful to, to have a sounding board. Bro, bro. All right, fine. fine. Also, we'll thank you to uh, Red Hood, uh, 1517, Generic Fay, nice, and Anonymous for your donations. Very much appreciate it. Oh, wow. Gotta get those poor doctors some borders. Indeed. <laughs> we appreciate your help for helping doctors go beyond their borders. <laughs> oh, come on, Link. Figuring out which of my beverage goblin beverages still put in. Come on, one more. This one goes. Woo! Ah, oh, double kill. By which I mean, I got it and it nearly killed me. Ten dollars till six ninety. Nice. Nice. Ah, uh, seven actually. Seven dollars. Oh my god, now. you know? No, come back. Uh, thank you to Assailant F for your five dollar donation. We are now. Quite close to funny number. Um, Has anyone mentioned the Queen of Denmark just advocated? Yes, actually. Weirdly, they did. yes. <laughs> Weirdly. <laughs> what is it with queens and doing things on stream? Oh. <laughs> I was like, when's the last time that it's happened? Fine. It's fine. <laughs> Here during the live, but you know, it's. I think it's interesting. A lot of people have commented throughout the stream. Obviously, they're not going to hear me say this, but that they're watching the stream in the past, so to speak, like not watching it live, but joining oh, at the beginning up. of the live stream and yeah. catching up. Nice job. That's really cool of you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, also thank you to Shadow Chorus with your $2 donation. 
And uh, sensei, sensei Ryu, Sensei Ryu, geez, um, for your $7 donation. Unfortunately, we did miss the funny number, but uh, I don't think that was you. I think that was us. Also, Assailant F, I don't know if I called you out earlier, but thank you. Uh, Queen Elizabeth did not die on stream. <laughs> <laughs> it happened on stream, though. Uh, Betty White died. Oh, Betty White died. Well, she's a queen. <laughs> So about she that. is. <laughs> I think what happened was someone in the comments was like, "Hey guys, like I think Betty White died," and then Max Miller joined on like five minutes later, like, "Hey guys, you hear Betty White died?" <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh no! All right, we're gonna sell our shit. Hey Red, what's your favorite armor set in the game? I feel like you have opinions on that. I do. Um, I I like bits and pieces of a lot of them. I really like the Satori armor headpiece, which is, of course, the thing you get last. Um, I like the Dinral dragon set most overall, I think. I wish it was more useful. Um, yeah, I because, wish any of them were useful at all. Yeah, the <laughs> idea that you get a benefit from tanking an effect that does constant damage, and it provides no protection from the damage, it's just such a bizarre design choice. Um... Anyway, but there's a lot of very gorgeous uh, armor sets in the game. I also like the simplicity of, like, the, the champion's leathers. I think that's cute. And I am fascinated by the lore implications of the ancient hero aspect. Okay, let's just drop, like... Leo is back and trying to do crime, so Yay. she's gonna sit on my lap. Okay, let's go to a great fairy. Then I think we might be about ready to jump into the depths. Maybe so. Leo, are you trying to are you trying to purr so loud that they hear you on stream? Because you're doing a good job. Uh, thank you, Annabella Q and Orange Guy for your donations. Four thousand seven hundred. We're getting close to uh, guitar time. Oh no, the guitar hero. <laughs> the hero of guitar. Suppose if we need cash, we could always just kill a bunch more Gleox and sell their horns and stuff, but it just feels so gauche. Well, let's put on the hat we actually like. <laughs> yeah. I wish this didn't automatically make the ponytail happen. <laughs> I just ponytail think Link's happens. base hair set in this game looks awesome. Too many things you, tie you like the long hair. Guitar villain. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, great fairy. It would be a guitar villain. I mean, my first thought is the devil and devil went down to Georgia, but he's technically a fiddle villain. Yeah. Miss the funny number again? No, we're just two dollars off. <gasps> oh, we can finally get the. <clears throat> the thing that happens when you fully upgrade all the elements of the glide set. Set bonus. <laughs> set bonus. Set bonus. Set bonus. Oh god, all my money already. The guitar hero and the drum kit villain. Okay, you know what? I'm down. I'm down for that. Go, go, Gleok murder. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, upgrade this as far as it'll go, baby. Except I don't have 500 rupees anymore, so almost as far as it'll go, baby. Get more rupees. I will. That way you can get don't, your... Don't, don't, don't. Come on, guys. <laughs> Here, Link, let me upgrade that for you. Go, go, gadget. Workplace harassment. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Connor. <laughs> I appreciate that some people like go and chat and post like really like insightful things and then like half of it is just like <laughs> memes. Yeah. Needle is just down at the stable, you're correct. Alright, what else we got? Ah, okay, we need a fuck ton more diamonds to enhance that and we're not gonna get that in the time we have. Um, Come on, you've got time, it's no. not midnight yet. <laughs> Indian uh, New Year's, so happy. No, we were streaming right through it. <laughs> I know, but I forgot to say hi. Oh, okay. Also, who's about to come up in six minutes? 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, I, I got it, I got Blue's it. Got it. Uh, Blue's got it, Blue's got it. The time zone map. Time zone map. Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, Pakistan and Tajikistan. Um, uh, Uzbekistan and Western Kazakhstan. And then, like, Central Russia are about to go. Well, happy almost New Year's to you. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, and the on. Seychelles. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and Mara Titus and... This... Going... Or no, that's not, that's not it. Oh, hold on. Chat, tell us, what is oh. a set bonus? Well, you see, a set bonus occurs. <laughs> Red, I'm really glad that we're not in the same location, because I think you might kill me. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> in a good way. Yeah. It was a little murder between friends. Okay. Mom says, my turn with the brain cell. <laughs> Blue usually has the brain cell, which is unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Think. Oh, a couple more donations in chat. Got uh, uh, REG Stripe, Anonymous, and Azure. How are we looking? Oh. 4799. We are $201 away from 5000 Wow. Oh my god. Aces, it's our time. Denmark <laughs> is weakened. <laughs> <laughs> We can finally go. We ride at dawn. At last, our destiny is fulfilled. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Thank you, Emery. You're right. OSP does not condone murder and usually does not condone violence, but condone violence, but we do condone sending a message. Always. Okay. Um, that's Use probably your words. gloom food, right? Your words don't work. 12, 5, 21, <laughs> Thank you to Anonymous. 39. We're getting 35. close. We should be fine. We can recover like twice as many hearts as we have with the stuff that we've got right now. Great. Okay. According to the judgment of the Oratrice Mechanique de Analysis Cardinal, upset bonus occurs when you have all three pieces of an armor set. <laughs> Equipped and they have been upgraded to two levels by a fairy. A poll from yesterday's name that tune stream <laughs> where the voice actor had to do that line like 30 times maybe <laughs> no i think it's from the tiktok <laughs> oh yeah Is maybe there yeah there's a tiktok all right leroy jenkins thank you ian it's funny how when I, I I kept the Leroy Jenkins joke in from my Hannibal bit in the the Rome video and some people are like who's Leroy Jenkins oh, wow. no. oh. Oh no. That's, that's true. We can't <laughs> afford we can. to let that bit of culture get lost. Yeah. It's also a Genshin Impact reference. Thank Interesting. you. Donation goal to make Red start playing Genshin Impact. No, oh, no. no. <laughs> Again, if you yourself donates $100,000. <laughs> Aristy. Very sweet. Blue and Cyan, y'all make me believe in finding love as an ace person, and Red makes me believe in myself. This entire channel is like the Triforce of Ace community. That's very sweet. We are rather ace. <laughs> it's a big ace energy. Okay, here we go. What are they even teaching kids these days? Not about Leroy Jenkins, apparently. <laughs> Just Fortnite dances, that's it. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. I've got my hearts back. Like World War I. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair, Christina, but no. Famous okay. World War I paratrooper Leroy Jenkins takes the fight to the Kaiser. <laughs> okay, so question. Should yes. we just warp back to that war point we said? Or yeah, sure. yeah, we're not at 5,000. You got it. Perfect. Up. Okay. Kids these days don't know the log of equivalent exchange. All right, I gotta focus. Jesus. I'm shifting into Ganon slapping mode. 
I'm back for more, you big bitch. All right. No. She is purple, though. <laughs> we chat, we need $188 for a guitar. It's true, we do. Oh, that's a bad guy door. <laughs> so here we have a standing uh, pillar of malice and gloom in the middle of an what? endless bottomless chasm. Uh, on the left side, uh, away from street level, we have oh, a bad guy door, pulsing with dark energy and surrounded by the minions of the Demon King. Are you ready to buy? <laughs> oh, I do have a question though. Um, does it come included Whoa, the with the uh, multiple multiple Ganondorf iterations? Uh, that is a, an uh, additional uh, furniture package that oh. uh, we'd be happy to sell you. You know, sold. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to photograph Ganondorf, this is correct. Oh, I mean, I guess. My boy! My boy! Link! We shall protect Hyrule! Hyrule Rangers. Fuck yeah, we will, bro. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Anonymous, for your $20 donation. We are getting ever closer to guitar time. Let's fucking go! My husband's side on. And his side piece. <laughs> oh, Ganon, watch the fuck out. Naru is here. <laughs> Push the demon. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> I can't wait to smash the demon king. First, we must smash the demon king's army. Bro! We better get some bards in here. <laughs> you fool! You've fallen right into my trap! Saga! Stop making me say your name! <laughs> uh, Prospect of Keys, five dollars, thank you. <laughs> what is your favorite sage? Um, Personality-wise or power-wise? I was gonna say read you either way, so mm, that's fair. <laughs> Personality wise, who's your favorite? Sidon. And yeah. power wise? Um Honestly, Yanobo. Probably the one I use the yeah. most outside of Tulin. <laughs> Shit, I took my first hit. Tulin's is probably the one I use the most. It's probably the one that's integrated the into problem. the gameplay in the least like destructive manner. Like you need to do the least work to make it happen. Anyone ever touched on the existential horror of Minoru's soul being trapped in an iPad for 10,000 years? It, she's fine. Um, she's got games. <laughs> your favorite sage? T. Sage T is really good. Are you prepared for Ganondorf mid swap a mente? I would. <laughs> I do like that the uh, the system by which all of the monsters become weapon fused things means that the more battles you fight, the stronger you become. Yeah, it's just a very fun way to just in the same way that making the master swords like uh, dude a uh, test of worthiness just be how many hearts do you have? Can you tank the damage it deals? It's a very elegant way to just passively reward you for stuff. Damn, Yonobo. Nice one. You guys are killing it today. Alright, what's next? Ah, oh, fuck. According to the tradition of Orish 
Cruz McKinney Damalise Cardinal Maru is the world champion of Minesweeper for the past 10,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> what, me? No, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Minor knows the last level of Candy Crush. <laughs> oh, thank you for Catfish Cafe for your $10 donation. You all have elemental powers. Why do none of you use them when I'm not here? <laughs> They're just waiting for you to give the order. Okay. Well, I do appreciate teamwork, so. It does make the dream work. Let them cook. dollars away. Okay, the well the guitar will have to wait. <laughs> Thank you, Daikoju73 with your twenty dollar donation. Alright, what's next? Well that day. Boss rush. Mm-hmm. One thing, the demon king is there. Thank you, Sidon. Oh. I like how they show Muck Rock as little as possible. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else gets a glamour shot. They're like, and that squishy thing. <laughs> I mean, it could. <laughs> Thank you to Susaga for donating 20 pounds. Uh, appreciate you. Sidon deserves a more cool looking nemesis boss fight. <laughs> yeah, he does. Toolin's up against a fucking sky centipede with the coolest bangingest music ever written. Is that the way we came? Ah, uh, that might be the way. Okay, well, they put me in this way. Oh, no. Okay, this is the way we came. Cool. <clears throat> I'm up to speed. All oh, the cloud physics are so weird. All right, Master Sword, how long do you... Okay, cool. <laughs> All right. I'll face you with my second best weapon. <laughs> Oh, hold on. Oh. Travel medallion in here? Nice. I think technically the travel medallion is on top of here. No, but they said you could place one here. I could. Where is he? Bro. Ah, there he is. Love. Do not look away. You witness a king mid Suavemente. Buenas tardes, señor Link. Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Let him have his moment. It's snowing in the Midwest? He's 
been drinking his electrolytes. It's time. He's become thick. <laughs> thick? And his beard is back. But my controller just buzzed when he cracked his neck. <laughs> Regardless. Sensei Ryo? No. <laughs> Bad. I will crush any Dream? Bad. <laughs> Guys, stop calling Gandorf hot. <laughs> I'll let them have their opinions. <laughs> the menace unleashed. Oh, you can tell this cutscene was made by somebody who really likes this guy. <laughs> Don't be intimidated, Link. Just picture him in his underwear. <laughs> oh no. Oh, he's so cool! And the birth of his new world. Let's fucking go! Oh, they recharged the Master Sword for me! Excuse me, sir, do you mind holding off while I fuse something exciting to this so I can... Ah. Mid suavemente. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Stop shit talking, bro. We just got going. Do you mind? This is a serious moment. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Do you mind? No, it's okay. Don't worry. Oh yeah, take his picture. I'm a little preoccupied, but I will try. Oh, there he is! What a sizzler! <laughs> That's actually really good! <laughs> oh! Whoop! No, my Hylian shield! Oh god, I've had it all game! Don't do this to me, man! Oh no! Ah! Shit, it's so symbolically appropriate! Apparently you could take a selfie with Ganondorf. Nope! Okay. I well, really can't that. overstate how much of a beautiful oh shit moment it is the first time Ganondorf flurry rushes you. Yeah. Or at least threatens to. Yeah! Oh no! Now imagine me doing this with no prep time because I just accidentally found the boss room. <laughs> None of that shit, sir. Shame on they you. I'm just a little time. guy and it's my birthday. It's Why your birthday. Are you so mean? Happy birthday. No. Woo! <clears throat> We're good. Stop shit posting, bro. I'm busy. Spend this grand pacer test is a multi stage aerobic capacity test that gets progressively more difficult as it continues. 20 meter pacer test will begin shortly. Please line up. Thank you, Ian, for unlocking a memory Ooh. that I wish I didn't have. Oh god. <clears throat> it's fine. What about the pacer test is that you had to do it with like everyone else around. And you're like, listen, what if I don't want to run? It's like too bad. You're jogging. Beck makes a good point. Technically it's just a perfect dodge and not a flurry rush because he doesn't attack you back. I think that's just a kindness at this point. Yeah. <laughs> when the health bar did its thing, same. Also, thank you for Cupid Lux and Ilex Aquifolium for your donations. Okay. I would like to inform you that we are now ahem, $42 away. Ha! Okay, let's go. <laughs> what a feeling. 
Red, you're gonna be so excited when you check your messages and just have a billion Cleo pictures. I am gonna be very excited as soon as I survive this situation. <laughs> Guys, he just- this isn't even my final formed me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, the health bar! Oh, how is he doing this shit? <laughs> the internet has forgiven uh, the imprisoned design for being worked into Ganondorf's pants pretty cool. I won't. Rude. Buy me dinner first. Let's fucking go, bro. Ah, stop it! Oh, hey, Tulin! You picked a great time to show up! Oh, God, I just see him getting blatted across the arena. I'm trying, you know, though, but I really appreciate the vote of moral support. Eh. Oh, good, the real one's here. Miss my Hylian shield. Hi, Sidon. Woohoo! <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I'm sorry, what? What? Kyle Sentient Tentacles donated $5,000. Wow. wow! What? F I'm wow. sorry. How many fucking? <laughs> Five! <laughs> Five thousand dollars?! Thank you, Mr. Tentacles, sir. Thank you, Mr. Tentacles! I don't know if you're a Mr. or a ma'am, but either way, thank you. Um, uh, their, their profile picture is a little old Chibi Cthulhu. Oh my Smack god! That's booty. amazing. Shit, wait, what were we supposed to do for ten They months? are beyond human comprehension. What a kindness. Thank you. That is a, <laughs> a, a gift for the end of the year. Thank you so much, a pile of Sedia Tentacles. Sorry to very, very kind of Someone um, please remind me what the thing was for 10k, because yeah, I... I don't remember the 10k thing. I don't think we actually had anything for 10k. Oh, no, you were going to try to fight something. Um, oh, you're, you're going to try to fight Ganon in underwear. Oh, well... Um, we'll come back after this one. What? We, no, we won't! <laughs> yeah, you will. In your underwear. <laughs> you can do you can do Demon Dragon uh, in Link's underwear. I... Can we please have some dignity... <laughs> How about this? In nothing but pants. Since we've done so many pantsless runs, you can just keep on pants. Hmm. But I just bought this diamond circlet for 2,400 rupees! And then you can wear no pants, no shirt, and just the diamond circlet. <laughs> I don't think I like this plan. It's all right. We might need a new 10k, guys. We, we, we might need to figure something else out, but uh, Pile of Sending and Tentacles. Thank you for, for getting us across the line on this fundraiser and just in the nick of time as well. How about oh, this? Reabsorbing all of his playing clones. The guitar to you attempting to play the guitar to Go Go Power Rangers. Blue will sing it and I'll try to play it on the Ocarina. I don't know Go Go Power Rangers. <laughs> I need to look up the chords. <laughs> and as we discovered, the Ocarina does not show up on stream. Yeah, what if you were singing? Where are my friends? <laughs> Oh, they're all knocked out. That's great. So ah! so arf, 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 oh shit! Man alert. <laughs> the arf 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 is what really <laughs> makes me uncomfortable. Ah shit! Okay. Play Wonderwall. Red, do you know the um? the, like, Barbie song. No, but, uh... The one where it's like... And I will, and I will, I will put you around. No, I don't, and I'm, uh, sorry for having slightly more shit to worry about right now. It's fine, you're good. We'll figure out something dumb for us to do. <laughs> Mew, I like y'all simping cringe. Blue is a bionicle, not a Power Ranger kid. Oh shit! 
I only watched uh, Power Rangers um, Ninja Storm. I didn't watch any of the other ones. Woo! Ah, my hearts. I have spent this entire game getting my hearts back. You are so rude! Hey, Minoru, you want to slap him a little bit? Thanks, Minoru. Good talk. I think the bigger oh shit moment is definitely the flurry rush because the Hylian shield can break. I'm still Obviously upset. It's he does it, but mechanically, that Ganondorf is allowed to flurry rush you. Oh, shit, hold on. Blue I'm can't understand Pokemon type wheel, but knows all about Unity, Duty, and Destiny. Yeah, because that's three things as opposed <laughs> to like fucking Alpha Rad's 50 types of Pokemon thing. To be fair, most of my beautiful video know. and explains exactly how I feel about Pokemon. <sighs> and I'm glad you're here. Good night. Go to bed. <laughs> Bailey says Midor is back on her Tetris grind. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, you can hit the fireballs back. Oh, we can do Ganondorf tennis. That makes sense. Huh! About fucking time. No ah, shit, my stream. phone. Um, oh, so Red finishes this and we figure out what we're gonna do for 10,000. <laughs> Stop Pictures. it. I can post another cat picture if you guys want. Ah! Pretender to the wild haired red brown. Stop it, bro. Stop it. Oh no. Okay. Come on, dude. Oh, you guys just saw the crazy shit that just happened? The, the double shit. Flurry, right? I don't have a shield anymore. Alright, hold on. Tell me I can still dodge at least. Tell me that I can still trigger a flurry rush even without a shield. One more! Two more! Ha! Huh. Okay. Okay. I think I made him mad. Nice. You got him. I just want to highlight that what just happened, I was not expecting my first playthrough. In hindsight, I should have, but it really hit me. See, what hit me was more just how deep he sticks his death. Yeah, he didn't need to go that far. He could have just dropped it, but he's like, oh. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. 
<laughs> I love that he takes the shape of the calamity for a brief moment in this cutscene. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're fine. We're fine. We got eaten by a dragon, but we're fine. It's fine. Also, thank you to everyone who's continued to donate. Anonymous, Amber... That was another anonymous. <laughs> we really appreciate them. Small donations and the big. Uh, R.G. Riley, another anonymous. Cat, Cat Demera, Demera we and anyone who we may have missed. Thank you so much Just for all your back donations. Is, uh, YouTube will let us scroll up. Me when I eat three Flintstones gummy vitamins instead of two. <laughs> <laughs> Fun fact. Flintstones with gummy vitamins are some of the best uh, chewable vitamins for adults. And this dragon. I like how he's getting bigger. Like, he was small enough yeah. to fit in the room before. Yeah. He's getting notifications that you're streaming, and it's like, yeah, I know. I'm here. He's so cool looking. <laughs> I'm in danger. Oh, Cookie there I am. Stop it! <laughs> yup, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got into this situation. <laughs> Apparently you also need to photograph the, uh, dragon. I can photograph the dragon. Because guess who's coming to the rescue, baby? Zelda! Yeah! Cleo is snoring. Fuck him up, girl! Ah! Worm girlfriend. Later, bitch. Yep. Don't have time for you. I have to save my boyfriend. Hell yeah, girl. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He's just too fat, too speedy. Oh. She's speed. She's been perfectly aerodynamically designed this whole time. She stole my house and now is a dragon. <laughs> she stole my house and my heart. <laughs> oh, he's a long boy. If he had charge, you could collect this is just things to hit. Yeah. I will say, I gotta say though, when I first played through this and Ganondorf absolutely kicked my ass super hard, and then I finally wore down his stupid long health bar, I was like, please, not another phase where I have to sword fight him. And it was a legitimate relief when he went full dark beast on me. <laughs> so I was like, okay, cool, this is the victory lap. I love how high that last shot portrays this this battle being in the sky mm -hmm. up there Aww. so i have bad news guys it wouldn't let me use the uh okay we're good Oh, I don't have Tulin with me for this one either. There she is. There's my girl. A little dream and this like flicking right, her hold foot every still, so bitch. often. This won't like... hurt a bit. He's just a baby. Oh god! It does gloom damage while I'm on him. That's actually yeah. devastating. That's okay. I'll make my way over. What the fuck is happening, Link? Fine, we'll try this again. Zelda! Jump, she'll come. I, yeah, she's- she- oh, <laughs> if nobody got me, I know Zelda got me. <laughs> Ugh, okay. Fine, fine. Did you get the photo? No, uh, it won't let me use it while I'm riding on her head. Turn. Is he a good girl? Uh, yeah, the game kind of cheats and just gives you back the empty hearts back. <laughs> Well, because you're in the you're in the sun. Like, yeah, I mean, technically, Ganon knocked all of the hearts out entirely. Ganon like destroyed like, my uh, hearts. It was pretty the, devastating. The oh, presence shit. of the light dragon lets you have this one. <laughs> oh, you cheating bastard! Let me on. I just want to stab you a little bit. It'll be fine. It won't even hurt you. Look at how stupid big you are. All right, Zelda. Zelda, come pick me up. I'm scared. 
Thanks, girl. All right, do your thing again, Mr. Smart Guy. See what happens. Zelda, Zelda, your snoot's a little bit. Just a, just a. Ah! Okay, fine. I guess we're doing this now. His tail is so big. He's so big. He's huge. Oh, you almost got it. Yeah, get out of here, you. Ah! Oh, I've been launched. I've been yoked. Yoded. Whoa! Did we just narrowly miss getting walloped? So. Hey, Zelda? Zelda? Yay, thank you. Thank you, Zelda. Everyone say thank you, Zelda. Thank you, Zelda. Thanks, Zelda. Oh, she barrel rolls! Oh, Zelda, you're so cool! Oh, I'm so sad, but you're so cool. Oh my gosh, you just tanked one right on the chin and didn't even feel it. God, you're just, I don't deserve you. Hold on, I've got something for you. Uh, where are I, where, where, where am I? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 it's a symbolic gesture. Thank you, Zelda. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go smack Ganondorf on the ass a little bit more. Uh-oh. Yeah! There she goes! He's got, like, feathers. Like, none of the other dragons do feathers. I love it. Yeah. Very, like, kind of quetzalcoatl looking. Smack of that! Ah! Zelda, come pick me up, I'm scared. Thank you, Zelda. Whoop! Okay, where is he? Oh, there he is. Cool, 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 no doubt. Okay, the next time we land on him, I'll see if I can snap a pic. Zelda's snoot doesn't seem to be the ideal platform for photography. Me and the girl. Alright, I don't think we have much time. There he is! <laughs> yeah, none of your good sides. Oh, hey, we're at 10169. Yeah. Nice! nice. <laughs> Perfect. Whip! Honestly, no one donate. Leave it. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the doctors. <laughs> Do it for the doctors. Whew. You just need to oh, donate in increments of 100. Yeah, only in increments of 100. <laughs> but actually, no, feel free to donate whatever you want. It's just or really fun actually donate uh, with a 69 cents, so that way if people donate whole dollar amounts, we'll keep it on the night. Perfect. But what if people donate 69 cents? Only one person do it. <laughs> <laughs> The doctors have sufficient borders. You know, I don't think we want them to have sufficient borders. <laughs> oh. We want them to have no borders. I think she... Oh, no. Her eyes react. She feels it when he hits her. Oh, that is it, Ganondorf. You've <laughs> yeed your last haw, my friend. Hold on. All right. Uh, where the? F I just need a little bit of the skydive outfit. Just a little, so I can get close, and then I'll put it away. Because I hate this outfit for how it looks. <laughs> Whoa! Stop recharging. Prepare to die. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> we gotta, we gotta get our good fit again, and then we will smack the ass. Clever. Zelda, Zelda, Zelda. Things are getting a little bit alarm. Oh no! Oh what? Oh my gosh! Look at this! <laughs> 
All right, we, we knew. We, all, we were all there. God, I love how big the moon is. All right, show me your head. I see it. I'll be there. I'm on my way. Oh, you thought you wish. You won't stop me that easily, bitch. Hey, does this bring back memories? It should! Careful, keep your balance, bud. Yes! Yes! That's the snoot boopidest final boss death I've ever seen. It's so cool that he, like, breathes fire as all the magic leaves his body. I also like that the secret stone continues to glow the golden sacred light when it's destroyed, even though he's been corrupting yeah. it the whole time. I also like that he explodes in the biggest fashion imaginable. <laughs> <laughs> What was under there? <laughs> <laughs> the castle, probably. Oh no, it looks like a chunk of Hyrule Field, maybe? No, it was over the forest! You can see it! Oh, wow. The Koroks! No! Holy fuck. <laughs> the Korok space program has finally been achieved! Oh. Oh, no, it's fine. The Koroks are immortal. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> but they are in space now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it, Raru. You gotta stop taking away my clothes. <laughs> oh, she's napping. Oh, that's not kind of unnerving at all. That's probably fine. It's this hand of mine. It's possessed. Whoops. <laughs> oh yeah, it's recall rune time, baby. Oh. Juice that sucker up. Maximum power! <laughs> Link's like, all right, I'm just along for the ride. This isn't even my arm, but damn it, I'm going to concentrate as hard as I can on the off chance that it helps.
is playing her song, bud. Oh shit, my arm. Okay, bye. The version of the game where Link doesn't get any of the memories, so he has no idea who the fuck these two are. <laughs> <laughs> I think that makes his determined expression even funnier, because it's like, I don't know who you are, I don't know what's happening, but we gotta save Zelda, so... <laughs> oh no, gravity. Oh no, gravity! <laughs> I found her! Come on. This is such a genius bit of theming, and I'm so happy they did it. Come on, girl. Terminal, <laughs> terminal velocity already! <laughs> Let me catch up! I wonder what happens if you don't hold the dive button. I never want to know, but I kind of am curious. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Oh, man. Because we start the game off, she falls, we dive after her, we don't catch her, we end the game, she falls! We catch her! <laughs> just a bunch of like dead fish just bloop 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 up out of the lake. Yeah. <laughs> like dynamite fishing. That's some soft water. <laughs> <laughs> this has been canonically established. It's fine. I'm fine, thank you. Better than ever. More symmetrical than I was yesterday. Someone pointed out that this is the only Zelda game where the last gameplay action isn't an attack. That's oh, cute. I love that. You did such a good job. Fee! Fee's here! Fee's participating! <laughs> Tool tip? Link, my records indicate that that's a 50% chance of it being the princess. <laughs> <laughs> Just claps his hand over the little diamond-shaped thing to muffle her. <laughs> Master Link! <laughs> we did it, girl. He's so teeny weeny. Look at him. I have been sleeping all this time. And I felt something like a warm, loving embrace. I woke up. Master Link, if you tried dowsing for Princess Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, y'all are really funny in the comments. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, man. They're good. Wow, we're gonna need a really big staircase to get to the castle. <laughs> Not to worry, Zelda. Allow me to introduce you to the hidden Zonai technology of Long Bridge! <laughs> oh! Oh, God! <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. I thought it wouldn't hit as hard the second time. Ah! No, I wasn't ready!
It's a really sweet last bit of dialogue. Fuck, man. Complete. You okay, Red? I'm so good. <laughs> <laughs> Are you home? Ah! Oh, boy. Oh, shit. How much credits play before the thing happens? Um, I guess we're about to find out. And I like how that's when the trailer music shows up again. It doesn't have quite the epic sax it did when it first dropped, but the trailer music plays when Zelda turns back. Here we go. All right, everyone behave yourselves. I have to go get my guitar. Ah. Be right back. Oh! Ooh. <laughs> Sorry about that. You guys okay? <laughs> Good. You can hear me? Okay, I dropped the microphone. Uh, I'll be back for real this time. Game room, along with the other instruments. I'm back. Did anything happen? Uh, no, uh, uh, Delia commented, Link, can we get a bigger bed, though? <laughs> Pretty funny. Oh, boy. So I think I accidentally discovered how to turn off a Blue Yeti mic, because when I dropped it, I hit the button and it went red instead of green, which was scary. Right, Zelda's just here, still Link's new house. <laughs> nice, it's in tune. That's fun. Oh boy, okay. Alright, I'm good. I'm fine. I'm normal again. <laughs> I spent the first playthrough of the game desperately avoiding spoilers because I wanted that feeling. I yeah. wanted... Because I didn't get that with Breath of the Wild. Because when I played it, the game had been out for like four years. So I already knew how it ended. I'd already seen a lot of other people play it. That's why I got it to play it in the first place. But that meant I didn't experience like the, the slow reveal of plot stuff. Um, and... It was one of those things where I was like, I like this, but I think if I'd let this emotionally impact me without knowing it in advance, I would have liked it more. And so when this came out, I was like, I desperately do not want to have anything spoiled. So I spent like the last week playing it being like, if the game lets me get Zelda back to herself at the end, it's a perfect game and I have no complaints. And if that doesn't happen, I'm going to be devastated. <laughs> and like... Obviously, it's a Zelda game. You save Zelda. You have to. Like, meta-narratively, I study tropes for a living. I should have been like, there's no fucking way. But I've seen stories that I trusted disappoint me before, and I was so scared. <laughs> so when that whole thing went down, and we get her back, and then I realized the themes, I realized we were paralleling the opening scene, we did another game where Link ends the game by correcting for his previous failing, it was so good. Anyway, this game's good and I like it. And I like how the Demon King fight is not easy. Like, he's precision designed to make you go, oh fuck, he can do that at every turn. I have, I've got a detailed diatribe in the chamber about that, but I don't know if it's gonna happen because we already did one and, but I have thoughts on it at least. Anyway, this game's good. It's a good game. It's good game design. I do like all the champion themes, basically like the only, or not the, the sage themes, like some of the, the, not a large amount, but some of the new music for, for this game that's like new, new, and not like mm. era, which is new, but really it's, it's dragon roost, but different. Right. Um, the, the sage themes are really good. And I like how they bring back the motifs from the previous game, too. Because I I don't have a sharp ear for light motifs a lot of the time. I need to, like, be really concentrating to pick them out. But now that I have a good ear for Mifas, I was noticing yeah. when it pops up in this game. And it's really interesting. Like, the specific parts it pops up and the parts where it doesn't. Oh, man. But yeah, um... I, I guess as a quick preview for my detailed diatribe thoughts, 
pretty much everything Ganondorf does in the final fight is a thing that you have never seen anyone do in this game before. Like, he, his perfect dodge. That's terrifying. And it becomes really frustrating when you... Because, like, the Master Sword carves a nice chunk off his health bar every time. But you can't hit him with it! He's too good! Um, and when his second health bar just keeps going, it's like, what are you doing? That's not, that's not how boss bars work in this game. C centralize it. And then he starts taking off your hearts. And, like, that's a thing that makes sense, because he did that at the very beginning of the game. It's like, it makes sense that's a thing he can do. But it's scary that it's a thing he can do outside of cutscenes. Yeah. So. <clears throat> hey, there's Matt Mercer. <laughs> He's not got first billing? Huh. Who has first? Patricia Somerset. I wonder if it's, like... It doesn't look like it's, um... Maybe it's in order of appearance. Because Zelda talks it's before Ganondorf does. Yeah. Oh, man. Whew. I'm emotionally exhausted. This happened the last time I did this, too. I like that that fight is not readily cheesable. I like that it actually kicks your ass as hard as it should, you know? No. Because there have been Zelda games where the Demon King gets built up all game and is like, at last, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. And then you... <clears throat> Skyward Sword. Oh, that was so weird. And then you fight him in this, like, mirror dimension. <laughs> and you just whack him around a little bit. You do the dodges the game has spent the entire game training you to do. And then you win. And he's like, ah, oh, how can this be? I've been bested. And it's like, come on, dude. You're supposed to be like a god or something. This game, I like how, like, you spend the whole game training and prepping. And then you get there and he's worse. He's so much worse than you thought he was going to be. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the Twilight Princess final boss. Because a lot happens in that game. He he has Puppet Zelda for a little while. He has to do some Ganondorf Energy Ball tennis. I think there's a part where he goes big because you have to ride around on a horse with um, Zelda firing arrows at him. But I don't really remember the details. Anyway, I should replay that game. That's really what this is telling me. Yeah. Skyward Sword is also kind of rough because the whole thing with the imprisoned is he's he's just a little Among Us guy. Yeah, he's just a and little that's potato hard to take with legs. <laughs> but I really respect that they used his scale texture so prominently in Demon King Ganondorf's yeah. design. I thought that was so cool. They they really managed to do a lot of redeeming of, of Skyward Sword between the last game and this game with the little little Fi chirps and then Ganondorf having a lot of demise-like qualities to him. And it helps that Fee does not uh, talk <laughs> in this game. Yeah. Like, she clearly yeah. talks to Zelda, but we don't have to deal with it, which is lovely. And I love that this part of the credits is just focusing on, like, do you get the theme? Do you get the theme of hands reaching out to each other? Do you get the theme of togetherness and, like, teamwork? And how Link can't do this alone? Do you get it? Do you get it? It's good, right? I, I don't know what interview it was, but either Aonuma or Fujibayashi said that the, the theme of this game was hands, which yeah. is what everything relates to. Well, no, I mean, it sounds silly to be like such a such a, a vague and broad word um, where the whole thing with like the arm and the power in the hands and then ultra hand and fuse. And it's like, yeah, no, it, it all connects. It all does. And I like that this part's just making that really, really overt. We've been playing on low bath stress for a while now. Nice. I didn't want to spoil the moment, but it is very funny to me that the loving, warm embrace of Zelda is Link, obviously, and Raru and Sonya, and absolutely no King Rome anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> Purely the last one. <laughs> Forbidden snack. Red, did we lose you? Nope, I'm still here. Okay. Just watching the credits. I think we're about to get to the part that I don't want to talk over so much. Just kidding. Soon. Thanks, Nintendo. We got the true ending, right? Because we got all the memories and shit. Mm -hmm. We did all the dungeons. Yeah, I think we're getting there. Just taking their sweet time about it.
I wish we could keep the gold master sword. I really like that look. Mm, very true. Here we go. Such an impressive landmass can float in the sky. Just when I thought I'd started to figure the zone I out. Oh no, is Pura just Velma in a different font? Fuck. It does explain <laughs> a lot, actually. <laughs> Everyone. I am glad I was able to bring you all here. I wanted to share this view of Hyrule with all of you. Yeah, good snipe on that one, Red. Thanks. <laughs> I've never been this far up before, Guru. Wow. Voice what by Barbie. What a sight it is. Huh. And Zelda, you were roaming the skies all along? See? Now they get to know. Yes. Although I don't really remember. I never thought I would actually stand here again. It's not Legend of Zelda, go talk to Pura, it's Legend of Zelda, talk to Impa. And Sonya's time power. For Zelda to transform back, they both must have channeled their abilities through you, of course. I see. the burden my heir left to you you have proven yourself and you no longer need me proving yourself that's my job no i can move yeah. on join raru and the others and the world will be safe I like the implication that they all talked about this privately. Those of us gathered here swear on our lives to support the princess and me. He's playing the main theme on piano. Link is just stone face silent. <laughs> He's already made every Zelda, every vow he needs to make to Zelda. Yeah. That's the way it be. So is there just going to be an extra secret stone now? Nah, Pura's dibsying that for sure. Yeah. Or, uh, or Jasha, the little one. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> well, since we keep giving things to the, like, younger generation of heroes. I suppose Pura is, like, a hundred-something. If I had a nickel for every parental figure that's died in front of this Zelda, I'd have like five nickels. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Sonia. Minerva. 
the ancient sages. They wished not only to save Hyrule from the Demon King, but for it to see eternal peace. I will dedicate myself to that goal. I love that she does not mention her father at all. <laughs> <laughs> King Rome Robert didn't give a shit about Sonia, eternal peace. All of the sages, and not my shit-ass useless father. <laughs> my friends, with all of your strength, stand with me. Hell yeah, girl. <laughs> Whoa. They spend more time with Minoru than her actual dad, baby. Hmm. I mean, we don't really know how long she was in the past, but... <clears throat> I mean, aside from, like, that 10,000 plus years. <laughs> Damn. Let's see, I want to see a cool trick. <laughs> Link sees, like, Dinrail off the side and just instinctively yeets himself off. He just, like, waves and just jumps. <laughs> I also like the little touch of the, like, planks laid across the gaps that we had to navigate with Ascend the last time we were yeah. up there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, <laughs> what are we, what are we doing, like, with we can playing be guitar? Done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Because there was some talk about, like, oh, once we do this, we'll continue and do something else. But I feel like we shouldn't. Um, it can be done. It's been four hours. It yeah, has, good. Jeez, it didn't feel like that. <laughs> okay. Ah, shit. Sorry, there's so many things attached to me right now. Okay. There we go. All right, what's the situation with the guitar thing, gang? It's up to you. Whatever You're you gonna want. play whatever you want. <laughs> I've been noodling on my ukulele. Fantastic. It's too high for it to pick up. Like down. Man, that was fun. I guess do we have any like closing thoughts on the game? Happy New Year's. Happy yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Happy New Year to the the two time zones that just ticked over: uh, Armenia, uh, Iran, uh, Oman, and part of Afghanistan? It's just a very small and a little bit of Russia. Play us out, Red. <laughs> and Mauritius. And the Seychelles. <laughs> that one goes on for a while. I haven't practiced it, though. Not, not what song is that? I like that. It's uh, it was something I learned when I was learning like Spanish guitar finger picking. Uh, mm. It just kind of keeps going. It's basically you're doing different chord shapes, uh, and then you're just kind of picking up along the strings. So got it. exactly where I sort of <laughs> stopped <laughs> practicing standard. Oh, hello, good mother, old oh, son again. Thank you for $20. Okay. <sighs> Look, I can play the uh, Hyrule Field theme. <laughs> <laughs> From Breath of the Wild, specifically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. We'll see. This is the most musical stream I think we've had. Yeah, it really is. I, uh, I like this game a lot. Oop. Obi, the whole point was that you heard nothing. That was, that was literally there the was, There was one note. <laughs> okay. Anyway, sorry, that can keep going for a while. <laughs> oh, man. 
Free bird. No. No free bird. Yeah. Stop that. <laughs> this is that too. That's fine. This is very relaxing for me. Somebody else is going to probably have to stop the stream. Yeah. Just <laughs> vibe in. They do have Zelda themes on guitartabs.com. Whoops. There we go. Well, let's check it out, actually. I have an Ultimate Guitar Tabs app simply for I... ready access. Eh. Man, this game is so good. It's, it's so it long, really but is. it's so good. <laughs> I love that they clearly had a very specific vision with this game and did exactly what they set out to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have absolutely no complaints about, like, in terms of execution of their vision, I think they did exactly what they wanted to do. I think this is the strongest Zelda story that we've had in the series. I think there are ones that I I, I enjoy for different reasons, like I, I've got a soft spot for Link's Awakening, just because it's it's such a tightly woven thematic core that everything else is is built around and this one is much more of an expansive adventure which kind of has a lot of like other things going on in it which leads to more lasting intrigue um and and more things to to dive into and go back to but there's just everything that is in this story works so well for the 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 point of the narrative and this this kind of like sense of so much time in the Zelda lore yeah. that is really demonstrated here. Yeah, no, I think that's a good... Like, this is a game that really gets across the age of the universe. They really make it feel like yeah. this has been happening a lot. And um, they also kind of manage to make it feel like, oh, we actually successfully won. Like, yeah. obviously, Ganondorf can keep getting resurrected and shit. Like, that's kind of the, the MO of the series. But... Yeah, I don't know. They they that last cutscene where all the gloom disappears really does a lot, I think, to uh sell the bit. Hmm. Is the last game we have the whole detailed diatribe about it where we're talking about the the age of of Hyrule and how old of a world it feels like really lived in with multiple different strata going on at any different point to show little bits of Skyward Sword, little bits of Ocarina of Time, little bits of Twilight Princess, little bits of Wind Waker. It's there's a whole bunch of different things going on within the world of of Breath of the Wild, but it's still very much kind of static and in the past and and there you can see it, but it isn't really at the forefront of the story. The furthest back we really meaningfully go is a hundred years into the calamity. Mm. But with this game, there is all that stuff that is still there in this version of Hyrule, and there's the the strata of history with Zonai, and then what Zelda's doing in the past, and all these things are so in communication and dialogue with each other. Part of the charm of Breath of the Wild was that there's all this stuff that's here, and you can't talk to any of it. Mm -hmm. It's dead. It's in the sand. It's in the dirt. It's out in the, the woods of Hyrule. And you can see it, but it's still dead. What I like about this game is there's this huge sense of, of vast stretch of time that is brought to relevance in the present through Ganondorf coming forward in time, Zelda going back in time. Mm. That's a really I, interesting I point. Lot. Yeah, the parallels. Ganondorf gets sealed away and just... You know, he's a relic from an ancient past and ends up in the present. I also like how they give him, like, serious horns on this one part of the mural. Even though in real yeah. life, he's just got little ones. Oh, boy. 
I think that like a lot of this game is game, but the story foundation on it is like perfectly simple. You know, it is yeah. it's it's symmetrical. You start Zelda falls away from you, you fail to catch her. The game ends when Zelda falls away from you, you successfully catch her. Uh, everything in between is just getting you from point A to point B, which is just really yeah. beautiful. Cyan, do you have any particular thoughts on Tears of the Kingdom? No. Okay. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm bopping around on the ukulele. I've lost entirely the track of conversation. Honestly, That's yeah. Right. There's something I weirdly we mesmerizing can... about playing music. I think we can can call it a stream with a successful ten thousand dollars raised over $10, for Doctors 000. Without Borders. Yeah, Jesus. Uh, very, very excited to have been able to do that. Uh, with that total, our fundraising for the year has now topped $150,000 for various causes Woo. all around the year. Um, Thank you, guys. That's honestly incredible. Yeah. With a total of high 300,000s, I think. I, I haven't done a calculation recently, um, but it, it, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, yeah, the lifetime the of the channel fundraising. The 5k donation really did hit different. Thank you again. Yeah, that was insane. <laughs> that was pretty whack. And, and so generous. Musical, musical instruments. All going to, yeah, all going to help uh, Doctors Without Borders providing uh, much needed medical care all around the world. Because as uh, 2023 was pretty fucking horrible globally for a, a various swath of reasons. Um, the important thing to know is that we can actually make a difference. Uh, it's not just, you know, tweeting angry and sad things and then thinking, well, that's the extent of my ability to contribute. Um, there is a pervasive sense of hopelessness that can break pretty fierce, but um, anybody can do something to help, whether that is donating time, donating money, donating your efforts in your local community, or for uh, organizations that, that work more broadly. There is a lot of things that people can do, even if it feels like that's not the case. So, even as we go into 2024, remember that. Yeah, and just as much as we were talking about the 5k donation hitting different, know that the majority of what has been raised by this channel is $5 donations. Yeah, mm -hmm. $1, 5 10, 10 20, 20 maybe. Well, you guys need to what I want you to realize is that every amount of time you spend here, every donation that you make really makes a difference. Whether you can give a lot or a little, whether you can only yeah. give time, we appreciate all of you. Yeah. Fred? Yeah, sorry. I was playing the theme. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll uh, let you have the last word and then you can close out the stream. Yeah. Um... It's like the podcast all over again. <laughs> Thank you all so much for listening along to this uh, stream followed by impromptu jam sesh. <laughs> <laughs> where we all struggle to use our language brains and our music brains at the same time. Um, I'm really glad we got to stream through this game. Honestly, the the full stream through of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom that I did this year, that was all this year? Really? Yeah, yeah, it was all this year. Damn. The game came out this year, I think. Well, yeah, I mean, this well, game did, but like, I think, I, um, I think the Breath of the Wild stream, I was doing, you know, the first half of the year to kind of advance yeah. into this. Yep. Um, and I had a lot of fun. Uh, this is probably the biggest Zelda fan I've ever been at any point in my life. Uh, because before I was a one game only bitch, and now I have three that I like, which is big for me. Um, all Zelda? Hmm? Are they all Zelda games? <laughs> I was a one Zelda game bitch, and now I have three. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really glad you guys stuck along. I had a really good time. Uh, my early days of watching YouTube, I was a big fan of many gaming streamers, and uh, it was kind of weird to be able to do that. But I had a really good time, and I'm excited for us to do some more of that next year, but with a, a different game, um, yeah. which we already Starting mentioned. On Friday, yeah, uh, Spider-Man Two, same same bad time, same bad channel, <laughs> but on Friday, not Sunday. But do the butt smash? Uh, no, because <laughs> that's Batman. All right, bye everybody. Happy New Year! Hold on, I was Happy figuring out the, the black suit. Uh... Yeah! Oh, nice! Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put right. some dirt in your eye, chat. <laughs> <laughs> now dig on this. Okay, well. Happy New Year, good night. Happy New Year, good night. I'll let you guys go. I think I'll probably uh, say some nice words at the folks at home uh, and then end the stream. That sounds good. 
Okay, are you kicking us out? No, I thought you guys were leaving. Oh, I, thought, <laughs> I thought that you were done with the stream. I am. I just, you know, I've been, it's my brain. It's been doing so much shit. Hold on, okay. let me take off the guitar. Put the thoughts out. Put Fuck. The... Um, hold on. I've managed to get the... All right, I can't put the guitar down because my earbuds are looped <laughs> through the strap, but that's a me problem. So, um, oh God, getting up to end the stream is going to be an, an adventure and a half. Thank you all so much for watching along. I had a really good time doing this. Thank you for raising a staggering amount of money for a really good cause. Uh, as mentioned, it's, uh, it's very gratifying to be able to do something that helps people, especially at a time when it feels like there's only so much we can do, but you know, so much is better than nothing. Um, yeah, everyone, Happy New Year. Take it easy. Uh, don't get the flu or COVID. It's real bad this year. Get vaccinated. Um, I think I'm out of things. You guys good? Yep. Yeah. Fantastic. Hit All right. In the, in the window to, to close us out. I'm yeah, on it. Year. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.